live. We are now live. I'm scared. Oh god, I'm hearing an echo. Oh god, I gotta mute. Gotta mute! Joke's on you. I was already mute. <laughs> oh shit, that's me. Oh dang. <laughs> <laughs> Character sheet. Idiot pun, hell yeah. How do I do character sheet? Rack them up! Well, you got your token right there. You could either go to the journal and find your character sheet in there, or you could hold shift and double click your token, whichever's quicker. Or easier, I should say. All the puns. Uh, it's or. It's time for puns to open up the session. Or. Love it. Love to see we can, it. We can do this the old-fashioned way, and I can just write everything down on paper. I just, mean, just make sure you ask Draco how, what do you need to roll every time. Mm. I, I plan on it. <clears throat> All right. So, pun number one. Imagine if Americans switched from pounds to kilometers overnight. There would be mass confusion. I have a quick question for everybody. Be good. <laughs> okay. Uh, but I'm gonna need you all to answer it right away. Uh, if you were born ten years ago, how old would you be? Ten. Twenty. Oh wait. Three. If I was born ten, ten years ago, yeah, no, ten. Because you'd be born ten years ago. I'm just, I'm just wondering who said twenty. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he got us. The mad <laughs> lad. You know, I honestly thought I was wrong the first time. I'm like, no, wait, you said born <laughs> 10 years ago. But when someone said 20, I was like, wait a minute, what? Wait a minute, how old am I? <laughs> Who said that? What year is it? <laughs> and now for pun what? number two. What, what do you call dental x-rays? Toothpicks. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Mid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so when was the war of 1948? 1948. What was the color of Napoleon's white horse? Wait, what was that last one? What do you, What was the color of Napoleon's white horse? Oh, white. <laughs> what do you put in a toaster? Red. Come on, guys. You're supposed to say toast. Oh no, I know what you were expecting to happen, but I figured it out. We solved your riddle, Puzzle Master! I know it's, these... It's, uh, I'm familiar uh, with these ancient fucking japes. Said the master of puzzles. <laughs> Jokes japes, even. Hmm. Alright, I think we're good to properly get started, but you know, gosh... Could someone please tell me, in character preferably, what happened last session? Last time on D&D. I'm gonna wait for this. I'm gonna wait for everybody else. He hasn't done it yet. He hasn't done it yet. I've done it. I did it the first time. I was gonna say, I can do it then. Do you it. You have inspiration, that's also a factor. You can only get it once. That is that's why I'm letting everybody else go before I do it again. Quick, someone roll d20. Alright. Okay, so. Oh, I was gonna. Chat, it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, chat, tell us what happened last time. Come on, you were taking notes, right? Obviously. But I was please. gonna do it, but okay. No, please go ahead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a little fuzzy because a lot of stuff happened. Uh, yeah. We. It started with us fighting the door, right? Mm hmm. No. Yeah. We all tried to beat up a door that turned out to be a mimic. Flood's hand was stuck in it, but, you know, we were able to fix that. As we descended deeper into the temple. You pass by a wonderful little <clears throat> watery room. There, there are a couple of rugs there. One of the rugs was moving, but you know we tried to ignore it. But Thud decided to go up and attack it, or pull it, or check it. The rug came to life. We tried to beat it up, 
It it decides to eat blah. It decides to eat Andros, but with unnatural strength, Tarla was able to free free Andros from the wrath of this rug. Then we proceeded to you know beat it up. After that, we proceeded deeper. I, I'm realizing I'm using that word a lot today. Anyway. <laughs> But then we found the hag in question who was, who had captured the Oracle of Versailles. This at, this hag was hecka ugly. But, you know, we decided to beat its head in. You know, there's a bunch of really cool moments. But after that, you know, we slew the hag. Artavius got a really cool final blow on it. Then Versailles decided to give everyone their prophecies. Which, you know, kind of revealed a lot of interesting stuff about everyone. I don't know about you guys. But then after that, we decided to actually, you know, rest. We took a well-deserved long rest. And now it's in the morning and we are going to set out for a new adventure. That certainly sounds like a plan. Take your inspiration as we go over to the Heartlands. I thought, I thought we'd like oh. to bring up two points. One, what was this we you speak of? <laughs> and two, you forgot one of us got lucky. That's true. Uh, That's true. That wasn't I brought mean, up in the... In the I'll uh... take away my inspiration. I... No, nah, it's fine. You can take it. <laughs> Thank it, I forgot the most important <laughs> stuff. It's true. But, so, I kind of want to put one of your guys' tokens on the map to give you an idea of where you are in relation to everything. Who wants to be the uh, guiding token for the Heartlands map? I will. All right. Everyone follow Thud. Does everyone to the know? letters. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a nice token that we could probably use. Hmm? I have a nice token. If we want to use a, a seagull. That's true. You could put your familiar on there instead. Do you guys want the group mascot to be a seagull? Sure. I think I can actually drag one tokens I already have one here in my library. I can find a good one. Oh, whoops. Let me fix my... It's be a boar, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. It, sh it should be a boar. <laughs> with, with with our luck, honestly, it it, sh it should be a blind man. <laughs> so, so which is it? Do you want it to be the seagull, or can Thud take this? I, I'm fine with either. I just want to fight the elephant and go hug the letters. No. I'd say we could just put the seagull for right now until we find a cooler token. There you go. <coughs> Mortal Samachia's mascot, one seagull. Oh my god. Hyper real, a uh, photorealistic picture of a seagull. <laughs> yes. Photorealistic seagull. Is there any other Wild. way to represent all of you? Wild. I'm also, uh, I'd like to bring this point up. It's not going to be super relevant since you've already eaten, because I'd imagine if you're at the temple, they'll allow you to have some of their food. But as you're traveling, you're going to have to keep track of your rations and, you know, water and all that jazz. The path from uh, the temple of the Oracle to Isora isn't that <laughs> long of a path. It's probably going to take you, like, about two hours, if I'm remembering correctly, but I have that in my notes if it wants to cooperate with me. There we go. Stream stuff. Ba -ba. Travel. I did not mean to open two of these. I'm pretty sure it's like two hours, 53 minutes, give or take. Uh, traveling. Yada, yada. Huh, I guess I didn't write it down like I thought I did. Or it's in my phone. Irrelevant. Anyway. More importantly, because you're... Uh, traveling through the heartlands i'm gonna roll to see if anything intercepts you or you find anything along your journey and then you'll be in astora okay so that would be a look over here and the d100 
100 rolls. <laughs> I know we already came up with the name for our group, but I just thought of the Limp Dagger. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, why, though? Fud me. Now I gotta roll to see how many of them there are. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. Comment after a long rest, let's go. <laughs> I mean, I maybe you'll have breath. to see how this goes. And I need to set something up on the uh, battle map, so please uh, feel free to roleplay amongst yourselves while I do some uh, setup. <laughs> Classic DM. I feel like we should give the bird an epic like legendary god name. Uh Draco, if you look into the Discord chat, I put a token there if you want to use that for us. Give me just a second. Oh, we can neat. call him S Seagull the the monkey king. Well like Dave. How about that, huh? <laughs> Dave the That'll be the, the second bird. game I'm in that has a Dave. Mine? <laughs> See, in the immortal. there's my uh, clone twin Dave for my character that Hag's made to interrogate that I've just kind of adopted at this point. <laughs> what are you doing, Dave? What are you doing, clone Dave? <laughs> oh, is that Dave? No. It's not wrong, it's masturbation. <laughs> oh god so like stop it what are you doing you're doing this to yourself oh dear god <laughs> yeah <laughs> if you guys look I can do the little thing I was going to do before we left the temple yeah and let me roll a d6 first nice I think. Okay. You guys watch as Versi comes up from downstairs and stares at all you guys. You know what? I'm gonna do the one thing nobody's thought of ever. I'm gonna seduce with strength. <laughs> Are you, you trying to seduce his girlfriend? No, I was trying to seduce all of you. Oh. Yeah, didn't work. <laughs> didn't work. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not impressed with that eight. You you watch as... Pinches her, 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 she bridge of her nose, and you just watch her just transform into Tyler. What the fuck, bud? Ah. So, so tries to flex it, but then gets muscle cramp. You know, last night oh, that's big. about right. <clears throat> so you can just change whenever. Is that? Mm-hmm. Handy skill to have. I mean, I can just you watch it just transfers into uh, Octavius. I can change into anything I see. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. Well, a, l a little work. It's not bad. Mm, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we, we all know my catchphrase, indeed. <laughs> indeed, Artavius, the third year, whatever it is. <laughs> As you watch it, just... Slowly just transform into each one of you. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> then she turns into Thud and just like stares. Thud smash. <laughs> Spot on. But no, this no, is what, uh, uh, conscious, conscious speaking to you. 
You should flex more. Try to win. I think he checked out. I think you're broken. <laughs> <laughs> but I to process this data. Yeah. What the? Maybe you should do it like... Oh shit. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wondering if fake thud is anatomically correct. Oh god. Actually, <laughs> 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 you have to guess on it? Or like is. <laughs> uh, oh, no. Actually, you can change your appearance and your voice. You determine the specific of the changes, including your coloration, hair length, and sex. You can also adjust your height and weight and can change your size between medium and small. You can make yourself appear as a member of another race through... Appearance of the member raised through none of your games that eh, static changes. You cannot duplicate the appearance of an individual you've never seen, and you must adopt a form that has the same basic arrangements of limb that you have. Your clothes and equipment aren't changed by this trait. You stay in. You stay in the new form until you use an action to revert your, to your true form or until you die. Hence why when I changed form into the uh, the dude, I stripped him naked and took his clothes. Ah. So DM, a quick question. How common are changelings? Or do we know about them? Is there a role just to be like, do we do I actually know what, what Tarla is? Um, hmm. I don't think they're very common at all. But I guess roll me. I want to say Arcana sounds like it'd be the right one to do for changelings. <clears throat> Let me. You might have seen one. We that would like, never know. I feel like it's more history. Than anything. Well, it would have been the same modifier anyway. All right, so I don't. You're there's something weird. Yeah. You're a freak of nature. I have a quick question. I might have a quick answer. Okay, so the immortal duck thing. If it is immortal, does that mean that we could eat it and have it never die? Immortal duck. L leaving us forever full. Not the familiar. A pigeon? Oh. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, it rules as written, the familiar vanishes once it hits zero HP, so the second you eat it, you would feel nothing. Don't try to eat my familiar. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come here, duck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a seagull. I don't think it tastes that good. Probably not more <laughs> than a try. Trash birds. I'm hungry enough. Let's smash. Let's smash. <laughs> I mean, everything, everything tastes the same when smashed. Hmm. You know, I mean, it's hard to argue that. But I will point out. No, that's you. accurate. I will point out to you guys. If we need to infiltrate anything, just take the clothes and let me see the person. Such yeah. a weird statement. Yeah. That's Close funny. first, then the person. I'm not stripping anyone. I'll just go ahead and say that now. I mean, I can just go in as the person versus us trying to sneak in. It'll be easier. That has brilliant plan. Buy all the clothes and then travel with it. That's huge in your head there. Just have all the clothes at all times. Yes. We'll need some way to transport, but still. 
That's why but we have the chicken. Only... But I can only it carry just... so much. It just changes every time you talk about the bird. <laughs> it's gonna be a turkey one day, perhaps a yeah. peacock. Who knows? <laughs> Whoa, Draco, jeez. <laughs> Come here, you stallion duck. Give me your beef. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna say you're talking about this while you're walking down the road, and while you're walking, a group of men and women, all suffering from serious looking injuries, and apparently recent wounds approach your party. One man is at the front of the band, and motions for his fellows to stop, and calls out to you for aid. Uh, please! If any of you can heal or help us out, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm gonna move you over to the battle map. Arrange yourselves how you'd be traveling. Gonna... Boop, boop, boop. So, so we'll be in the front. So that suggests we we snap off whatever injuries they have. Can't complain about injuries if there's no injuries to be had. Yeah. Uh, roll an insight. You certainly can. <laughs> I shall roll for insight. I will also rule uh, insight. Okay. Thud does not know where insight is. So it's fine. <laughs> be on your sheet in the skills. Eighteen. Thud well, knows everything. Damn. A nat okay. twenty with a negative one. <laughs> so I'm gonna say, Tarla. Uh, Thud and Artavius, you can figure this out pretty easily. So, well, not Kaya, though. I'll, I'll roll for him anyway. No, yeah. You can tell, like, obviously they have been very injured here, but there's something he's not quite telling you. There's... Why are they injured exactly? There's got to be a reason behind this. People don't just walk along the road in horrible injuries. Something is up. What hurt you? Well, all right. Listen, we were we were staking out around here, and uh, we were hoping to maybe ambush some centaurs, and it didn't quite go our way. All right, <laughs> we're very hurt. Are, aren't you? I don't know, heroes or something. Help us out before they arrive, huh? You didn't answer my question. Centaurs. What I, hurt you? Centaurs, okay? The centaurs that we tried to ambush put a hell of a whopping on us. So we but ran. You just, but you just say they haven't showed up yet. Well, they're not here yet, but they're probably chasing after us. Why were you trying to ambush centaurs? Do I, do I really need to spell this out for you? That is also very confused. Yes. All right, look, we're bandits, okay? Happy. We take things from people on the roads, and they just Moving happen to on. be the things that. Uh, come on, you're, you're heroes. Help us out. Come on. <laughs> Sud demands you stay away from our stallion turkey. <laughs> you know, <laughs> heart. You know, if you're telling the truth, maybe you should get behind us and let us deal with the centaurs. I don't really want to waste my healing if there's a fight to be had. Oh, okay. Group huddle for a quick moment. Group huddle. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh, oh. Group, group, group huddle. You, you guys wait over there. Okay. Why we bandits? Yeah. Why, why do we want to help bandits? Yeah. Why are we helping bandits? Thud smash. I mean, like, maybe a thud. We may just need to smash these bandits. Like, I mean, do we know if the centaurs are are good or or? I, I'm I'm new to this land. Well, and uh, is quite something that's nationwide. And it's really bad. And I mean, centaurs are well. They literally. What do I know about centaurs? Um, really I'd say stealing. roll a history check for that one. Why not smash both? Because uh, maybe centaurs are okay. Twenty-one. 
All right, so you know that centaurs were part of the armies that fought against the dragon lords in the first war. Now, they're fake creatures by nature, and they're traveling around the lands. They usually live out, you know, in the plains. They're nomadic people that usually mind their own business for the most part. Like, they'll attack someone that attacks them. They don't actively attack people unless, you know, by divine provenance, like their god tells them to. They usually tend to worship the titans as they are the gods that were here when they were here since they are the natives of this land. But, like, they don't traditionally attack mortal settlements unless there's reason to. These people being I'll bandits piss them off. I'll relay this information to the group. So, I slowly <laughs> turn toward... You know who I am, right? No. Yeah. I was gonna ask about that, but we kind of got stopped by these bandits. There are rumors. I don't know. I'm talking to the bandits about this. Yeah, uh... I'm gonna have them roll something. Uh, hmm. So that's a five plus... Nah, he he's got no fucking clue. He's like, uh, I'm sorry. Are you are you famous, sir? Look, I, I'm I'm very hurt right now. My team is very hurt. Maybe I'm a little woozy and I can't quite see who you are from this position. Here to enlighten I us. I am Dragon Lord Carla Horath, daughter of Xander Horath. Now, centaurs only mess with people if they mess with them first, so what the fuck did you do? We told you, we, we tried to steal from them, tried to knock them out, take their things, so that we could eat. Look, we're only really guilty of trying to feed ourselves, look at us! And you can see, they're, they're pretty malnourished, they're probably desperate. Yeah. Look, it's not an honest way of living, I'll give you that, but I mean, you gotta survive somehow. Thud's middle name is Jay. G good for you, buddy. Um, can I just like toss him, like, yeah, like, guys, can I just like. Toss him some money and tell him to get the hell out of here. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Smash? No, no, Thud. We're not going to smash these poor little bandits that are already hurt. I'll smash like gold at them. Minotaur. I tossed them four gold. Thank you. The uh, captain will take the gold and... Uh, since it's clear you're not going to give them any medical aid and they could still be being pursued by those centaurs, they're going to get the hell out of here as soon as they can. So it could... Probably for the yeah, best. Take... No. Go get yourself some food and get out of here. Th thank you. You're quite generous. And they'll uh, hobble as best they can away from here. <laughs> And, uh, they're gone. I'd say that probably wasn't too long, so you'll probably continue making your way to Astora without any more, uh, interruptions. We'll say yeah, you, uh... for money. <laughs> me. So, let me just get rid of them. There we go. You've solved my bandit puzzle. We Take that puzzle, time. master. Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> They're bad. I was not going to waste my healing spells on them. That's yeah, fair. Yeah, no, I was like, ooh, I don't want to waste healing. Like, we're still level, what, two? <laughs> that, that, is still, that is still questioning. These are bad people, and we didn't take their things? Shit, let's go yeah. back. I mean, if you know, if were to be honest, the problem is I was going to attack in the woods. No, I got ten gold on me. So I don't know if you'll ever encounter this particular encounter again, but since it's up to random chance, I'll give you some insight in what could have happened. So 
If you decided to help them out for a set amount of time, after 10 minutes, the centaurs would have shown up and you'd have to either persuade the centaurs, hey, look, we're not affiliated with these people. Or you could kill the bandits, then the centaurs come and it's quite clear that you're not with them. Or you could fight with the bandits against the centaurs. Or fight both. I mean, if you want to be a true neutral and just kill everybody, that is an option. Or I guess that'd be chaotic evil, technically. Or chaotic good, since they hurt the bad guys, and the bad guys was trying to hurt them, so... I mean, one party was trying to steal, the other party's trying to get retribution, so... So you're doing a good and a bad. <laughs> no one is innocent here. Everybody dies. Paladin, <laughs> <Anger, anger> <laughs> I have to say no to that. Paladin yeah. says I was going to no. say, like, if we happen to run across <laughs> the centaurs along the road... I'll just point in the direction where the bandits went. Where the bandits went. <laughs> or if right. they just happen to be running by, I'll just point in that direction. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna you say... You would have lost four dollars. You're, uh... As you're walking down the road, you eventually do see the centaurs coming, and they would have asked you, Hey, did you see a bunch of people running by here? I would just tell them, yeah, they went that way. Thank you. And they, uh, trot in the way you pointed. Fuck them bandits. Let's go. Stop, stop, stop. Be on the move. I don't know if that's like more chaotic evil than I am, considering it's like, here, let me help you with the little bit that I could give. They went that way. <laughs> I mean, I didn't give them any money. I was just going to tell them to leave. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't okay. tell you that much. I was being nice. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's, our hands are clean. Yeah, you know, it's up to those bandits if they survive the centaurs or not. <laughs> you know, yep. if we ever walk back this way, we could try to track, find their tracks on where <laughs> they went, and we could take the four gold back. Maybe if the centaurs don't take it after killing them, because they might, you know, take that. Yeah, karma, them. it'll all work out. It'll all work out. Fight don't worry the about centaurs. It. The four gold are going to make the centaurs the superpower of the nation. <laughs> <laughs> the butterfly effect. What have we done? You're going to come back and the centaurs are just going to run everything. <laughs> oh no. But, anywho. <clears throat> you approach the city from the south. And you encounter a caravan of merchants who are also headed towards Astora. With them are a few domesticated animals you've seen, uh, you haven't seen in some time. A herd of bony oxen lumbering along the dusty road. The merchant seems tired and they greet you warily. Hell, what a day, huh? Good day, sir. Greeting. Heading to a store I see as well, huh? What are you in for? Uh, supplies, if nothing else. That is looking for giant elephant. Huh. Not that. Not that. Well, you'll certainly find them in a store, though, uh... Things have been a little scarce as of late. There's been a hell of a drought. Not much in the way of produce is able to be made, and because of that, a lot of the animals are, uh, he gestures to his own oxen that are, uh, like I previously said, very bony. It looks like they haven't been fed in quite a bit. At least not well. It's been hard to feed the animals, but, uh, considering the state of things, these animals in their horrid state will still fetch a high price, because, uh, King's trying to appease the Titans to maybe get them better, better weather, you know? Specifically yeah. Sidon, I suppose. Uh, Sidon. Mm -hmm. Flood will trade you sheep with wings. You have that? It is something called a milled er. I, I wouldn't pay much attention to him if I'm being honest with you. All right. I'm to like, raise an eyebrow and say, who's the king? Oh, of Astoria? Astoria Pythor. God of battle. You can, uh... Oh, God, you say? Yeah. You could roll, uh, anyone native to Thylea can roll a history check. That's not me. History check. Damn. Very smart. Natural 20. There All right. Let me get the exact story for you, because I need the man's name. 
18. That's impressive considering you've basically been a shut-in for 500 years, but I'll allow it. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Wouldn't he, wouldn't he be around the time I was? Well, yeah, but this would have happened after you were uh, isolated that he would have become king of Histora, Historia. Oh, I was about to say, it does the name like ring a bell towards me. Historia is the town you're heading to, and it was around in your time, Carla, but, uh, you know, it wasn't ruled by Pythor originally. I believe it was ruled by one of the uh, dragon lords, but give me just a second to properly find that information for everybody. Yep, ba ba ba. Gotta get that settlement along the Arklo River. It's building a rocky gorge at the Arklo da 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 Okay. Building more. Ba 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 ba. I'm gonna find it, don't you worry. Do it. It might be in this document. Probably should have had you. this on hand before. I wanna find it. Being prepared, can you imagine? <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> Kaya, you would know that King Pythors ruled over Astora for several centuries. He took power when he overthrew the tyrant king Lysis Arklander, who was a descendant of Esther Arklander, whom the city is named after. He's uh, been in charge, like I said, for centuries. The years haven't necessarily been kind to him. Uh, he's had... People have been saying and seeing that he's taken a uh, few mistresses here and there, wives, but uh, they seem to always come to gruesome ends for some reason, or vanish completely, and it's not... No one's exactly sure where these women are getting to, so his love life is not going great. He does have a daughter that he's hoping will take his place as ruler of Astora at the time being, which is amazing that one of his children hasn't been attacked by whatever is causing all of his wives and mistresses to vanish. The people of Astora do love their king, in spite of him being a womanizing drunkard, but it might be the fact that he freed them from a tyrant king long ago, so they see him in a very positive light, even in spite of... Uh, you know, him not being the best ruler at times. And that's everything mm. you get with a natural 20. That's sweet, sweet lore. Hmm. I feel like we're missing something. Hmm? I mean, that's all I would know from that's all I would know, I guess. We do, you like, do you relay that to the group? Yes. I gave a history lesson. <laughs> Kaya oh. puts on her uh, teacher glasses and gets out a chalkboard from nowhere. <laughs> I just write it on the side of. The, I just write the stuff down on the side of the ox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just roused her chin and said, "Esther did have this place first. You could infer that uh, the name that she mentions is definitely one of Estor's descendants. I will say because you've been basically out of commission for so long, some of your memories are a bit hazy of the past. You do remember Esther. His name sounds very familiar, but you can't quite attach a lot of memories to that name. Like, you know he was a dragon lord. You think he was probably one of the stronger dragon lords, but... After that, your memory goes into haze. Maybe he has a city near it. Maybe. Hmm. Mm. Nah. Okay. She keeps walking. Well, have a good one. And uh, as you eventually make your way through the gates. Uh, the streets grow more crowded as you enter the city proper. Travelers and citizens mingle, exchanging both goods and gossip. Guards line the street, though they mostly are concentrated by the city gate. Despite their attempts to present a stoic facade, you sense they are restless about something. From what you got from that merchant, it's probably the state of the drought and uh, how things are going currently. A small detachment of hop hoplites move towards you from the north. One man bearing an officer's insignia steps forward from his fellows and respectfully hails your party. 
Hail, heroes! Prophecy. Uh, our king summons you to the castle. Please, come with us. I, I, please, just... He needs help, and he wants us to gather you to see if you could potentially help him in his time of need. Or travel hmm. fast. Hmm. How do people know who we are? It's only been a night. <laughs> well, word travels fast, especially words of prophecy. Uh, we haven't quite gotten your group's name yet, but we know that heroes have accepted the uh, call, and uh, you match their description, so... That does not believe in prophecy. Well, the rest of the continent does, so... Yeah. Would you well, we will certainly not turn down a summons. Thank you. Take us to your leader. <laughs> Indeed we shall. We do not come in peace. Thud. Thud. Not uh, yet. There's a time and place for everything, Thud. <laughs> hey, Thud. No smash now. No right. smash. And we will go into the city proper. What a cool place! Yeah. So, they will lead you to the king's palace, of course. I will continue using the, uh, seagull, I guess. Hell yeah. Bop. Place the quack on seagull, let's go. The, the quacken? Release the quacken. Hey. <laughs> and There's the name. Quack Thulu. Dave. The king with wings. I think I'm going to change the music for this tone instead of having them both play at the same time. When you arrive at the throne room, you see, let me get his image for you all, Pythor, the god of battle. Do, 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 do. Once it loads, there we go. You see a pretty burly man wearing a bronze plate. He's got golden hair, a full beard, mustache. And for everyone watching the stream and all of you, he looks kind of like this. I seduce his strength. <laughs> well, give it a moment. He's got blue eyes. Forgot to mention that very important tidbit. But uh, as you arrive in the room he appears to be drunken fighting with statues of the five gods which line the hall he uh, withdraws the uh, his attendants withdraw upon seeing you whispering nervously among themselves and leave him to speak with you once the room is emptied the chamber doors are shut the king tosses away his spear and sits heavily upon his throne <laughs> holding his head in his hand he beckons you to come closer <laughs> You are the oracle's chosen, yes? Let me tell you of my woes. Uh, Kira steps forward to lecture him. <clears throat> Whatever your woes may be, drowning yourself in wine will not solve them. You have a duty to serve your people in these dark times. This wallowing does no one any good. King Pythor hangs his head on her harsh words. That may be true, but... What can be done? The oath of peace binds my hands, and now the titans conspire to steal away my precious daughter, Enora. But perhaps you all can aid me. You see, several weeks ago, the Order of Sidon sent a detachment of warriors to Astoria with demands from Sidon himself. He demanded that Enora, my daughter, should be chained to the Rock of Estor amid the rushing waters of the Archelon River and left there over a fortnight, overnight, as an offering to him, and then he would return the reins to our lands. There's some solutions that we've, uh, we've been uh, toying with for the time being. I had to lock Anor up because, bless her heart, she wants to, she wants to help the people and is willing to go onto the stone. The sacrificial rite allows her to defend herself. She only needs to survive, but I don't want to take that risk of losing the f my future heir and ruler of Astora. 
So, here's our options. You could try to negotiate with the Order of Sidon. It, I have 50 oxen that you can take with you to them, and maybe they'll be willing to sacrifice them in exchange for my daughter, but they'll probably want another human. I just... I can't bring myself to suggest anyone. It'd be... It'd be horrible to ask for someone else to be sacrificed. You could try to challenge a uh, centaur chieftain. You see, if we don't make the sacrifice, he'll view it as a affront to him, and there's an army just outside the northern gates. If you could negotiate with the chieftain, maybe defeat him and uh, demoralize the army, that could get rid of them. Kira chimes in, but that would be suicide. N nothing against all of you, of course. You've proven your quite formidable warriors, but this is an army. This is a seasoned war veteran who you be fighting. And those are our two options that I see, really. What mm. takes the sacrifice? Th Thud has two solutions. One, I could marry your daughter and become the next heir. Or two, I will fight. I don't see how marrying her would save her from being sacrificed, but uh, if you would fight the chieftain, that might do it. Um, Kaya will chime in. It's possible that he would want it to be on even footing, but... I mean, that's an option, but again, I don't think you're all ready for that kind of fight. Certainly don't think we could take him one-on-one. -on -one. Hmm. I feel as if he needs to double his army in order to make it fair against me. <laughs> Maybe so, it's just this one out But you're not that tough. So, here's my question. What takes the sacrifice? It would be basically leaving her to the elements. Whatever creatures from the river might try to... He's, uh... Flinching at this a little bit to take her. She stays overnight. There is a possibility that whoever gets sacrificed on the rock might live through the night. Maybe nothing happens. That would accomplish the deed. As long as someone sits on that rock, it accomplishes the sacrifice, even if no one dies. I mean, could I we say... perhaps guard her as she's on the rock? Hmm. You know, he... He thinks about this for a moment. I have a thought, but it is only if you would be willing to do such a thing. Perhaps one of you might be willing to take her place. You're capable warriors. You might be able to fend for yourself on the rock. Like I said, you get to keep your weapons and your abilities. You might have a better chance than she would, but of course that's an option that only you should choose to pick, should you choose to pick it. I suggest that at Toast, since we've legitimately seen them come back to life. <laughs> he already used his one off, though. You mean Andros? <laughs> oh, but uh, I just realized the two of you still have your uh, regular images, not your character sheet images. Both Thanatos and Pixel. You gotta go to the drop down to switch it. There you go. I mean, if one of us were to just be there on the rock, I guess everyone else can just kind of, like, lie in wait and kind of, like, guard, and if things get hairy, then, you know, come I'll do it. Out, right? Just give Thud alcohol, and I'll fall asleep through it all. <laughs> no, big guy, we need you to wait for that. Andrews raises up his hand. I'll do it. Honestly, if we had to do with people having to protect somebody, I'd rather be the one to do it because I can stay still and do all my stuff. You guys gotta get close up to stuff. But the Lion Man is immortal. Yeah, like I'm, I guess I'm confused. Are they, like, are they like chained to the rock or is it just like stay on this rock and 
just stand there. So yes, you would be chained to the rock, but you'd be able to move around. They basically, he explains, they uh, put like a ankle, what's the word for it? Bracelet. No, not shackle. bracelet. Shackle. Shackle, thank you. A ankle shackle on you, and that'll keep you tied to a pole in the center of the rock. But you can move, like, you wouldn't know the exact footage, but you can move a little bit from that spot. And as long as you stay on the rock throughout the whole night, it doesn't matter if you keep that ankle shackle on or not. Like, if you could pick it or smash it open, you could do that as well. As hard as it is to say, I say we we let Quack Thulu take this one for the team. <laughs> Can I offer you a seagull in this trying time? <laughs> I mean, I could say I could say on the rock too. If you'd like to discuss it with them, he uh, explains where they are in the palace. They're waiting for him, so they're still here for him. Now, I understand you have your labors you can do, and the sacrifice isn't supposed to take place till the next new moon, so you'd probably have some time to get a labor done if you would like, but I'd prefer if you help my daughter first and foremost, but I understand you have a duty that you all must attend to. Yes, I will marry your daughter. I saw the back of the head. <laughs> Again, uh, does your daughter, the, being the, the daughter of a god, does she possess uh, fighting prowess? She does have some arcane abilities from being my daughter, but I, I don't want to risk my the future ruler of Astora like that. It's not that I don't trust that she could fight, of course. It's just I, I just don't want to take that risk. I, I merely suggest, my king, that... Were she on the rock, we could be around her and she would be an asset to the fight. The problem is no one's allowed to help the person on the rock. They're left to their own devices. If someone helps, it's seen as interference and would invalidate the sacrifice at large. Both of our options are a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yes. Well, it's a one-on mystery. Right. With the rock. If one of you sacrifices yourself, you have no idea if one creature might come along during the night or two creatures or three or any number of things attack you. Anything could be going on. Mm. Uh. That does uh, complicate things. Well, Ugh. Again, Quack Thulu and the Lion Man legitimately is immortal. I have an idea. Please. I mean, yes, they want to sacrifice the daughter of a god, but what if we offer them something better that can be in their favor as well? Why not just try to sacrifice all the oracles chosen and we can just defend up whatever it comes to them together? That might work, actually. I would recommend you go to them and offer this sacrifice. They'd definitely be interested. If they could end the prophecy and threat to their god, they absolutely... I don't see why they wouldn't take the chance. Certainly better odds that way. Indeed. Well, hold on, yes, and you won't get penalized for helping. Well, if all of you are the sacrifice, then I don't think you'll be penalized in that instance. Exactly. All right. Well, uh, if you're ready to do this, uh, see them as soon as you can. Uh, you actually see there's a bit of light in his eyes now. He's, he's happy that you found a way to potentially save his daughter. But uh, as he said, if you want to leave this alone for now and do one of your labors first, you absolutely can. Or you could just jump right to this and uh, try to help Inora out as soon as possible. That choice let's is completely up to all of you. Let's jump right into this. Thud needs to fight. 
we'll probably get rewarded by like the town if we save everybody. <laughs> yeah, let's do it now. Okay. So hey, can I fix my Dorada, right? by the way, while we're here? Before we, like, go off somewhere? Um, so... Pythor will, uh, mention that, uh, if you do need anything repaired, I would recommend that you, uh, seek out my father, Vulcan. He's, uh, runs a local smithy in town, and he should be able to help you out. Okay. <laughs> just the god of the forge, no big deal. Yeah. The god of the forge just sort of lives in town. There are two gods living in this town. Don't worry about it. He's like, it's a living! Yeah. With the god of the forge. <laughs> Maybe he can help us out with something. I might be able to get something from him. Because I, I, I do want a weapon. Hmm? Probably too. Let's, let's start there. Alright. So let me change the music back as you uh, get ready to prep yourselves for uh, making this deal. Take a seagull over to Vulcan's Hall. <laughs> oh, I also have um, a map for everyone of town. You're already seeing the map of town, basically, but it has like numbers on it. If you wanna, if you're curious about specific areas. I'm worth a one. <coughs> do, do, do. Let me go to the journal. Boo, boo, boo. Although I will need this as well. Down. What is the Rock of Estor? That is where y'all be uh, sacrificed if you're doing that route. Ah. That's where sacrifices to uh, the Titans or any gods would take place, really. Oh. What about the Dragon's Tooth? That is the local inn. Well, I think no, it's a tavern and you can get rooms or, like, if I remember correctly how it works is in the living quarters sector, you would get a key to one of the houses there at the Dragon's Tooth, and that's how it works. It's not an inn in the traditional sense, but more like a place where you get a key to a house for the night and you have to return it after you've stayed whatever you paid for. Don't worry, you gentlemen. My background's entertainer. It's true. Nice. And you also have fame level 2, but it hasn't quite reached here yet, your uh, story, so I don't think you'd get all the benefits yet. Let me try... I have this pearl, which is worth worth like $100, so you know. True. That might as long as I can get you free food and free lodging. With... So if you want to sell any of your treasure stuff, you could go to the Agora to try and sell it. That's the basic shopping area where you can get all sorts of stuff. Let me find... Because I imagine you're going to go to Vulcan first for your weapon and all that, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so that is... Which number again in here? I'll find it in the sheet. Do, 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 do. Uh, store up. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> Near the center of town is a large building with fortified stone walls. A sing uh, shingle roof and a sign hangs from the building's heavy bronze banded doors. It reads, Vulcan's Hall. Inside the hall, you're greeted by the warm glow of embers and blasts of hot air. The room is decorated with a variety of bronze armors, weapons, and farming tools. A weathered-looking old dwarf works at the anvil near the blistering forge at the back of the hall. He wipes the sweat from his brow and greets you. He has a monocle on one eye, and his hair is a mix of black and gray. And here is a picture of the god of the forge, Vulcan. Ah, finally here, I see. Took your time. Been a hell of a journey you were... for you so far. You were expecting us? <laughs> now, I know you're well aware that I'm the god of the forge. <laughs> I've been keeping an I eye didn't... on you like the other gods have. Well, so, told you know why we're here then. Yep, you want to fix your dorata, and on top of that, you have some levers you have to be getting to, don't you? I'm gonna give you a little, uh, a little tip. By the way, I'm sure my daughter has already told you about the uh, dwarves in the copper mines. They like to hang out at the Dragon's Tooth after working the mines. 
you know, get a good drink after work, as you do. They can tell you Wait, where the myth is. Hmm? <laughs> he looks directly at Kira and she goes, ah, Dad, you spoiled the fun. <sighs> I mean, I was going to tell them at some point, but you just go out and blurt it. Ugh. Yes, I am Kira, goddess of music. Hi, how is everyone? I knew it. Worst kept secret. <laughs> Look, it, it would have been fun. Maybe I would have surprised some of you, but now it's just been admitted. <sighs> that explains a lot. Spoil sport. Thanks, Dad. He just chuckles. You're welcome. Wait, that's your dad? Yes, that's my father, Vulcan, God of the Forge. Welcome to the combo thought. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see your weapon, and I'll uh, continue telling you about the dwarves. They'll probably give you a reward for something. There's uh, something they will want someone to look into when you get there. But uh, let me see the weapon in question, and he holds out his hand for your Dorada. Certainly, certainly. I hand it over. Ooh, you did a number on this one. You throw it at a rock? I, I'm kidding. I, it was uh, steam, uh, but there was a rock behind it. Yes, yes. Ah, uh, that'll do it, yeah. It's hammered in. I could probably get this dent out for you. It's going to take me about a day. And uh, let's say five gold. Acceptable, absolutely, certainly. All right, and he'll uh, take the Dorada, he'll uh, take the gold if you give it to him, and he'll immediately get started on work as he adjusts his monocle a little bit. Yep. If, if you do manage to uh, clear out the mines, relight the forge, uh, I'll be uh, there to meet you after the fact, but uh, I wager you probably have some other stuff you got to do, and I don't know when you're going to go to... The mine specifically, so you know. Whenever you get to it. You do love a good side quest. Mm. Excellent. Stud has, Stud has a battle axe that keeps missing. You think you could fix that? I could take a look at your axe. I mean, it mostly comes down to the wielder if it hits or not, but uh, I can see if there's uh, anything wrong with it, I suppose. And he'll hold his hand out for your axe. Thud believes there's a curse put on it. A curse, huh? Hmm. And he'll, uh, if you hand it to him, he'll take your battle axe, get a very close look at it. Hmm. Nope, no curse that I can see, anyway. Pretty sure it's just you, uh, haven't been quite well at hitting, but hey, you know, everyone has off days. And he'll hand it back to yeah. you. you need to get do you sell weapons? weapons? Uh, do I sell weapons? Yeah, no, I... He points back behind him where all the armors and weapons are. You know, I've got bronze weapons of all kinds. What you need? I am looking for... Chakrams. I do you happen to have a... Bigger mm -hmm. axe? Like a really big axe? Hmm. I'm sure I do. Now, let me see. Chuck. Rum. If I misspelled that. C H A K R A M. Chuck Rum. Alright, there it is. Okay. Unfortunately, it does not give me a price for them, it gives me everything else. Let's see, it's a finesse weapon, a light weapon, a ranged weapon, a throne, and a special weapon. It's got a range of 60 feet, or 120 if you take the disadvantage. It does a d6 of damage. Hmm. I'm trying to think what a similar weapon to that would be so I could look that up. And then base it off of that. I mean, a throwing dagger wouldn't be quite right. Or I could just spitball it. Maybe like a hand axe if it's similar damage and it's a thrown weapon. 5e cost. Now let's go with that. Let's see, that'd be 5 gold. And 
I think it is slightly different from the hand axe. It has more features to it. And yeah, so it may just be a little pricier. So yeah, so it's five gold for a hand axe. Let's say. <coughs> so for this chakram, he'll uh, throw it in the air, catch it, and then hand it, uh, show it to you. For this, I'm going to say eight gold. Eight gold. Hmm. Do you happen to have two? Oh, sure. He'll uh, go back and fetch another one. Very similar styling. They're, of course, bronze. They've got intricate uh, dragon designs on them. Like, you know, a serpent coiling around the rings. I will give him the 16 gold. All right, and he'll gladly take it. Now, Thud's question, you wanted to know if he had a big axe. He pulls out a, a great axe for you. This right here is going to cost you 30 gold. Uh, where do I find gold? It should be on your sheet. And, um, give me just a second. Boo, 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 boo. Oops, wrong one. And, um, for the chakrams, you should be able to, uh, look in the compendium for them and then just drag and drop it on your sheet if you don't have it popped yep. out in a window. Cool. All right, dude. All right. Now, let me see. I will look at your sheet, Thud, to see how much gold you have. If you scroll down on the sheet. You should see it near treasures, I think. Actually, it's right underneath the attacks and spell casting section. Uh, you don't have any gold on you at the moment, so it's going to take you a while before you can buy this great axe. Unless somebody else has money they're willing to give you for this great axe. Wait, I thought we split uh, the gold. Oh yeah, you That's did, what I was so thinking. you just yeah, never put it on your sheet then, I guess. Okay. okay, so we have like five gold and twenty silver, at least. Okay, well, I could, I could sell that pearl that I have and float you some money. Hey, you do have that pearl. And yeah. uh, above game four, your reference thud. So this great axe is a two-handed heavy weapon. It's a D twelve if you hit with it not including any bonuses you get from your class. It weighs seven pounds. And what does the heavy give you? I don't remember. Weapons heavy. B -b -b weapon properties. Do -do -do -do. Heavy. Uh, creatures that are small or tiny have disadvantage on attacks. That's irrelevant to you. Heavy weapons, size and bulk make it too large for... Okay, so it's irrelevant what heavy means to you, because it means nothing. You're big enough to wield a two-handed weapon. Okay. I will haggle. I have five. <laughs> Roll a persuasion with disadvantage. Where is persuasion? It should be underneath uh, the underneath your got it performance. 16. 16. 16's mm -hmm. not bad. Mm -hmm. No, I probably should have had you roll because he's a fucking god. <laughs> That'll be five gold cash. <laughs> cash right now, right here. Eh? Eh? I might even throw in a copper piece if you like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tell you what. You can give me five gold right now, and then bring 25 gold back here, and then I'll give you the axe. Make it 30 and we got a deal. Sounds mm -hmm. like a plan. <laughs> right. uh. <laughs> Swindled him good. <laughs> No, no, that, that's not how you do it. He'll hold out his hand for your five gold now. <laughs> if you're gonna give it to him. I give him my five gold. <laughs> Alright. Best deal made. Oh, aye. 
and he looks at the others. Man, you should really, uh, keep an eye on him. He might swindle all the people of the Agora out of their, uh, good hard-earned materials. Please don't encourage him. <laughs> I can't help it, it's so fun. <laughs> Kai will actually step up to Vulcan. I have a, I guess a request. It doesn't have to be done immediately, but something maybe down the road. All right, you have my interest. What uh, would you like for your custom job? She's gonna pull out the broken <laughs> longsword pieces. Oh. And oh, she shit. will regale the tale of us fighting this legendary animated sword. Hmm. In Tara rough back her head knowing that she went down. Five warriors, one sword. Yes, this animated sword was able to go toe to toe with five people. Sephora. You should you should put make the sword blade and then put it on top of a spear. So we could I all have an extra wield long spear. It. So we could all wield it. So you want a really big spear. Is that what I'm hearing? It's a, it's a really long sword with a really long handle, but a spear, I guess, would be the layman's turn for it. So you want an incredibly long sword? Yes, the incredibly long sword. Ha. Huh. Well, he looks at the pieces you have here. I could try to use some of the pieces that are here, but this is a uh, lot of scrap. Probably gonna have to make it into an ingot first, then a blade. This is gonna be a bit of a costly job since this is a custom and new class of weapon, really. Do you, do you want me to haggle for you? No, no. Uh, she she mushes Thuz's mouth away. <laughs> no. <laughs> you sure he did Again, such a just... good job last time? <laughs> now, what, no, what, what kind of pricing are we looking for this? As she glares at him. <laughs> All right. Well, this will be interesting. Um, it's gonna take me a few days to melt it into an ingot. Probably five days, and then I'll have to use some of the other bronze I have. That'll probably take another ten days, so fifteen days total. And this is gonna be, like you said, this isn't a rush project or anything. So. I'll probably need... It'll be, a, it'll be a weapon worthy of a legendary hero. Hmm. Or someone yeah, who's... Will, this sword will make, will make history. It'll, be, it'll go, go down in the ages. It will save your granddaughter. The legend of the great compensator. <laughs> we'll keep workshopping on the name, Thud. <laughs> a legendary weapon? Well, if it's going to be a legendary weapon, it's probably going to be like 500 gold to get that going if you want my legendary quality weapon maybe i'll enchant it but for that i'm going to need the mithril forge if you want a magical weapon but if you want just the basic sword that's you know really really long let's say 25 gold for it although hmm, he thinks about it again how much is a great sword? Slowly listen, Kaya. You want new chanting? Aren't Maybe. most legendary weapons at least worth a hundred? Well, if you want a basic great sword out of this, which I could do, it's technically a longer long sword, so it would fall into that class, that would be 50 gold. If you want it enchanted, that's definitely going to be a whole nother can of worms. And it's going to be a lot more expensive. But again, I'm going to need a better forge if we're going to be going for magical long weapon. Is it possible to make the sword now and enchant it later? Oh, absolutely. How about you just enchant the hilt and then enchant the rest later? I I'm need... not sure that's how it works, bud. It's not. I actually need the 
forge at the Mithril Forge if I'm going to be forging magical weaponry. <laughs> but if you want, I could make the base sword now, and then when the Mithril Forge is finally relit, I can begin enchanting it. But like I said, it's going to take 15 days to get it from these materials I have now. So I'll do that depending on how long it takes you to get the forge up and running. Maybe I'll be able to just forge it there. We'll have to see how that goes. So how much would it be up front? So up front for just the basic sword, that's going to be 50 gold. 25. Now, are you trying to haggle, or are you saying you're going to pay 25 up front now and 25 later? 15. I got 20 silver piece. Shit up, dud. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, roll. Once again, we're going to roll persuasion versus his uh, insight on you. We got a. Cat, Tarla on the back. And you're like, you got this. Okay. I can't borrow this. No, I can't borrow this inspiration myself. Never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got four. I got four copper pieces. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let me see. Roll that D four. <laughs> No. Oh. So yeah. You know, I have a plus five approbation. What the? Fuck? Ooh, I I I, I told you a lot of you are uh, quite the hagglers, but uh, tell you what, just a special little deal for you between you and me. Uh, you pay me fifty gold, and then I'll do it. How does that sound? You should have let me yeah. haggle. Deal. Pleasure. I'll just pull out. I'll pull out fifty gold. You have 50 gold? The pearl. Oh, the so you just handed the, the pearl. Yeah. Hmm. Worth 100 gold. All right. Yep. That is worth 100. It'll be a down it'll be a down payment for a legendary weapon. Okay. I see what you're doing here. So 50 from that and then 50 subtracted from the Okay, you know I can do that for you. I still got 20 silver on the table if you want to give me f that for free I mean it won't stop you from leaving it on the table <coughs> will, it, will it make the sword extra legendary <laughs> you know what just for you big guy I extra legendary him. I'll take it J just for you buddy I'll take it there you go this is 20 gold All right. Okay, silver Alright, pleasure doing business with y'all. You have anything else you might need? There's the Agora. They sell, you know, basic adventuring gear. Probably some rations too if you need that. The uh, dwarves usually get out of the copper mines around the evening, so if you want to enter the Dragon's Tooth and uh, talk to them then, you absolutely can. What time is it, by the way? Uh, right now, I'd say it's probably. Been through a couple things, so let's say it's about afternoon right now. Okay. And Kaya will bring up if you wanted to do the uh, Horn of Balmitra, that's over in the Dragon Shrine. So you have a few things in town you can do in regards to your labors. There's the Dragon Shrine where the Horn of Balmitra should be, there's the Dragon Tooth to learn where the location of the Mithril Mine is, and of course, there's the uh, sacrificing yourselves in place of Anora. So it's up to you where you go from here. And of course you can go to the Agora to supply yourselves. I mean, since the horn is at the dragon shrine, you could go there first. Okay. First off, how do I in, like add my my new battle axe? Ah. <clears throat> so this is a great axe you'd be getting and it's 30 gold. And did you have the money for that? Uh, I put a down payment of five, and I got to pay him 30 later. Yeah. I, I think he meant he was going... Well, I know what he meant. He meant he was going to give it to you after you handed him the remaining gold later. Ah, uh, okay. So that was like a down payment to hold it just for you. 
Not rent to own. <laughs> yeah. No, it's gonna be the. Uh, it. It's gonna be like in uh, Link Between Worlds, where you go into a shop and you grab a weapon, and then later you come back, drop it off, and get a new one. We want to hit the Agora while we're here and get some more supplies or in shop mode. Yeah. I have five copper. Could I get anything? Oh my god. Oh, we'll have to see. Uh... Wait, you mean back at Vulcan's Hall or at the Agora? At the Agora. Oh yeah, no, you can probably... I mean, I'm not sure exactly what mind you. It'd be from the section of adventuring gear. So let me see. <clears throat> shop. Shopping! <laughs> Center to the Agora, blah, 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 blah. But it's the shopping shop episode. Is rather limited. Heck so, yeah. here's what you could find at the Agora. There's basic tools. Uh, you can find weapons and armor, but nothing as advanced as you'd find in Vulcan's Hall. So, like, in the Agora, you're not going to find plate mail and crossbows, for example, because those are too complicated oh. to require specific crafting. And could I, could I find potions there? No, that would be... So there isn't a potion salesman here. Um, if you ask for that, they'd say for that sort of thing, you're going to have to go to uh, Mitros because they have, you know, the, uh, excuse me, they have the college, the academy there, rather. And there's also an actual magic shop in that town, but here they don't have the means to do that sort of thing. Oops. keep grabbing Vulcan when I need to grab the... There we go. I'm on the wrong layer. That's the problem. Now you're in the Agora. I'm move the peacock. Okay, so... So... Ba -ba -ba. I do have a couple things <laughs> to buy. And I've already looked them up for the prices. Okay. Oh, I'll get a healer. I'll grab one healer's kit. Yeah, I'd say they'd have that. I'd consider that basic tools. All right. So that'll how be much five is that? Gold. That is five gold. Oh. So I got <laughs> that. And. Bug poor. After that, I'm gonna grab a map. What is the cheapest thing they have? Look through the adventuring gear stuff, what they might have. It's one gold. <laughs> so, you don't have a sling, but a sling, a thing of sling bullets, which is basically 20 rocks that can be fired from a sling, is four copper. I'll take it. Alright. How are we on, uh, how are we on rations? I know you're talking about we have to keep track of that. I've that got like two. Point. I have five. There's your, there's your four copper. Right, so I have, I have ten rations, and I also kind of have the ability to just supply us with food. I yeah, just good don't have berry, that spell healthy. right now. Yeah, I could get good berry. I just don't have it today. All right. That probably would have been helpful for the, for the bandits, but you know, what? I don't care. I wasn't oh, gonna well. give it to them anyway if I the did. Bandits. Supposed to be those bandits, <laughs> I, I guess. Given it to the, I would have given hey, it that, to the oxen. <laughs> that healer kit you bought is like is it like a one time use or is that just like a help thing? Or, or what thing the, the healer kit you want or whatever the medicine kit whatever it was the healer kit if let me look it up basically what will happen is well i guess what happened during that last fight with the hag i can use my action to bring a person back from zero health so i get so, 10 uses and i can bring someone back for back from being back from zero awesome i would love one of those as well okay so you can definitely that, get that is five that is five gold Cool. And uh, for rations, uh, one ration per day is the exchange rate. It's five silver per single ration a day. So you just, you know, figure out exactly how many rations you're going to buy based on how much money you have on you at the time. You said we're kind of covered on rations? Like you can kind of like supply us with food? Yeah. I can basically, I can... with just one spell, I can give people food for the day. Oh. He's talking about the uh, good berry spell. Basically, uh, it's a full meal per day. It's one berry. It tastes like a single berry, 
but you basically feel like you've eaten a full meal. So it's like Elven bread. You get one health from it. Mm -hmm. That as well. It is a sensu bean, but a shitty sensu bean. Pretty much, yeah. Sud only eats meat, I'm sorry. <laughs> this berry will taste like meat, bud. You, ha you would have to trust me. I, I am a meatitarian. <laughs> Good old meat. Just think it's just think it's the just think it's the chicken. Quackthulu? Is yeah, it, I think he... it's Quackthulu. Isn't isn't he like a pig? <laughs> That's not even a bird. What is Quackthulu? A pig, isn't it? How much is breastplate? Um, let's see. Breast that is... Plate? I think that's pretty pricey. Yeah, plus I don't know if that's... Well, I mean, I guess it's just a single breastplate, so it's probably not as complicated as, like, say, plate mail, so they could probably have that here. So but it's see. 400. Never mind. Could, the sub could just place his hands there and use yeah. that. Yeah, I just got regular leather. I'll, I'll worry about that later then. But I will buy seven more rations. Okay. How many rations? So that'll bring me up to 12. Well, you say five silver each? Yeah, five silver for a day ration. Oh, it's five silver? Yeah, five silver. Uh, look at the adventuring gear stuff here. You're wasting five silver on one day's ration when Thud got 20 rocks for no, four no, copper. No. I thought he said rocks. one silver for one ration. Oh, yeah, no, it's it's five silver for a ration. I'm looking at the adventuring gear chart right now, and that's uh, the price for it. Never mind. I'll wait off on that then. I still got five, uh, five rations anyway. Yeah, I'll I'll buy three rations, bring it up to five, so that's fifteen uh, silver. Right. I also have just ten rations as well. well. I don't know if Thud can even use the sling, but it's one silver for a sling. If anyone wants to get him a sling, so he can actually use I'll, those. Bullets. I'll do it. I'll give him a I'll get him a sling. Here you go, bud. All right. One silver. I will mm. end I see your sheet. Now you okay. just gotta find a giant, and you can beat it up with that sling or now that has a ranged option i could i could find a child no and give him the sling oh, no, I his see name you. david yes we will look for a child named david and i will <laughs> boost his charisma what his are you confidence. doing dave <laughs> listen dave i believe you can take out a giant <laughs> all you need is this sling and these 20 rocks you got this all right, we're training the seagull to use the sling. Confirmed. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other thing I was gonna try. <laughs> I wish I could. Quackthulu will, Quackthulu will attack from above. I love that just the name he's given it now. Quackthulu. <laughs> we all call it something differently. Quack, Quackthulu, the the Armageddon pig. Armageddon pig. <laughs> I is familiar. She should get to name it. Dave the chicken. I don't. I haven't named it either. <laughs> it's just there. Hey bird. <laughs> hey seagull. Hey you. <laughs> Got him for a good one. All right. I guess um, you know this would probably take a good uh, be a good place to take a quick break. You know, stretch your water, drink your legs, all that jazz. I've actually oh, yeah, taken yeah, two breaks this too. whole time. Yes. How dare you? I mean, it's not far for me to get up, grab something, and come back with my headphones on. See how my, it is. My kitchen is like two steps away. <laughs> Alright, so pun number one. If Iron Man and the Silver Surfer teamed up, they would be alloys. Lame. I'm leaving. Boo. Can I use Wait, the sling on my stone? Oh. <laughs> you know, in game, Twitch, in game. <laughs> you know, 
I would love to open a bakery. If only I could raise the dough. <sighs> but he Carl, I'll, I'll, through his ears. I can't, I can't let him be corrupted by this. <laughs> no. All right, I'll be back. All right. And uh, whoever's uh, still here, please entertain chat because I'm going to go refill my water. So let me tell you about the adventures of Thud. So before I joined this masquerade of mini men, um, I used to travel around in the wilderness. I've learned many skills, like do not climb trees because you will fall. Rocks are a lot ha harder than they look. Yelling at things only scares them away. Do not eat turtles without first deshelling them. Um, swimming up current is a lot harder than swimming down current. Um, road can go both ways. There is no wrong way to walk. Um, the other thing too is I've met a lot of very interesting people. There's this one person there who told me that like he knew magic and did this weird card trick thing, and he said, "I will make all your money disappear," which it did. And then after that, he disappeared. And I was left both shocked, amazed, and without money. Um, what else is there? Oh, I've also learned how to build my own shelter. You just chop down tree and well more than one tree like at least a few of them and then just build wall <laughs> and i also learned that uh you know sleeping in a cave is better than building wall did, did you also know that um rain is also the same water that you get from lake. Mm -hmm. Thud could also read. It's just every time Thud reads, it steals Thud's words. Ah. Uh. It's all Thud knows. I'm, I'm out of stories. Getting that deep Thud lore. Yeah, that very, very deep Thud lore. Also, Thud is not afraid of anything, but um, just, just, I don't, just don't let black cats near me. Does not scare spiders. Does Thud smash everything? Because <laughs> I remember Kyra saying at the beginning, "You were afraid of spiders." Thud, th th Thud fears nothing. I have returned. But... Yeah. I missed Thud lore? What? Yeah. You did. Yeah, yeah so it was right. really deep. It was actually really funny. I have to go watch the VOD now. Thanks, guys. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Such a also, tragedy. Also, also uh, th th Thud is not afraid of anything. Just to so see you all know. That's, that's a lot. Well, have to eat the turtle. Make that's afraid sure of books. No, book just no, has to kill the turtle first. before eating it. Blood wearing the shirt. No fear. Oh, that switch. <laughs> One fear. <laughs> Even books. Oh, I still gotta confirm that. Find that book, but what book? Book of Spiders? Oh, shit, no. Octavius now has one fear. <laughs> <laughs> New fear acquired. Do you, do you think he has a phobia of alphabetizing? <laughs> he has a fear of the Dewey Decimal System. I got a plus four in stealth and slide a hand. Okay. You just said Book of Spiders, and I was like, no. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Whatever that means, no. <laughs> uh, this, this one is for free. But there was once a time Thud got chased down when he was 
a lot younger by a very big animal that Thud could not fight yet. Got stuck up in a tree for a day. The, the tree was then barren. Mm. Huh. The Odyssey of Thud. <laughs> <laughs> My god. The Thud Hour. Thud's thuds. <laughs> thud half <laughs> <thing show. laughs> It's like Chuck Norris facts. You can neither confirm nor deny. I'm like, yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, is everybody back? Nope. Yeah. Well, that didn't sound like everyone. Oh, yeah, I'm here. It's me, here. lurking in the shadows. All right. I'm Batman. Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm a bat. <laughs> Every time someone says I'm Batman, I always think of Batman Kills Christmas. I'm not familiar with that in any way. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to send that into like the Discord after stream. Oh, they call me the Apex. <laughs> oh wow, I really like this cereal. Then you're gonna love me. <laughs> Apex, how did you get here? I thought you were in the Fallout universe, but the funny thing is I'm eating cereal right now. <laughs> oh my god. How do you know? I decided to grab the token and swap it for uh Quack Thulu. It's the, I I don't see any difference, it's the same to me. Uh it's it's all pure white for me. The joke is that I'm I said Orboros is the is the is the seagull. So that's the joke. Ah, uh, yes. Same, same difference. Mythical creature. Seagull, Ouroboros, what's really the difference? I mean Exactly. They're basically the, the same. The, exactly. Yeah. The, the main difference between the two is that one is a seagull, the other is a duck. Mm. But which one? That's the real question. The, we the world may never know. Who knows? <laughs> But, uh, we, we have to consult the Book of Spiders. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> A veto. The Book keep of Spiders. Spider spiders closed. <laughs> yeah, don't get that. Keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I believe the plan was to head to the Dragon Shrine, yes? Yeah. Yes. All right. You gotta drink a cup or something. Well, it's a horn, a drinking horn. What I said. <laughs> There's a bit of a difference between the two. I feel it's a funny shaped cup. What do you want from? Me? It's a drinking utensil. Uh, here we go. So whole liquid. It's a cup. The end. <laughs> this shrine sits at the end of a quiet street that runs into the wall of the gorge. It's a large stone building with a copper dome. The pediment above the door bears a marble engraving of the legendary dragon Balmitra. Inside the building, there is a strong smell of incense. You can hear the muttering of prayers as the priests of the shrine carry out their daily rituals. And let me find... The... Okay, wait, real quick. But I just thought of something. In the new One Piece game that just recently came out, if you play as Roar no Zoro, you get your map taken away. That's how I feel as if this, like... If, if that was in a video game, that's how it would be like. <laughs> I I like that that's a thing for Roar no Zoro, because he can't... He's just impossible to find his way correctly. He he can't fucking find the direction. Challenged. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Hey, that's a cool guy. Shout out DC. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's his uh? Roran Zoro, the best Marvel character from the DC universe. <laughs> I don't think that's right at all. But uh, getting that my brain hurt. Getting created and created and written by the Archie Comics. Mm. Getting back on uh, trail now. Um, so there's these priests praying. <laughs> Um, you do notice uh, one man, an elven man, 
He's got a, a robe around him, like a cape that has some dragon iconography and a necklace that has a dragon head. His ears, I'm not sure from this image if that's just natural color or if that's something he's wearing on his ear tips, but they're a little darker on the top. And he's got what appears to be a tattoo of a dragon's wings in flight. And I'll just show you this picture right here of the head priests of the order. As it looks like compared to the other priests, he's definitely the one in the most regalia. He's probably the uh, head of the shrine in general. He's got that deep V going on with the shirt. Yeah, and uh, I would say, Tarla, in spite of your memories being so foggy, you recognize this man as Aesop. You don't know why you recognize the man, but you know for certain his name is Aesop. Fables. Strength? Huh. Aesop? He, he turns to look at you, but Tarla, is that, is that you? It's been... 500 years at least, and you... How are you still alive? I, I didn't think your race lived that long. Had, had an accident, and I was landed with Percy. And I was with her the entire time, and now I... I don't know what's going on. Honestly. Okay, so I, I do remember that you got uh, knocked off course. I believe you were looking for a place to store the Dragon Lord's treasure, but I guess at, I mean, we never heard back from you, so I assumed you just got lost along the way. That's okay. No, no, if, uh, if you don't have any memories, I could try to jog your memory of uh, some of the Dragon Lords. I'm a bit of an expert having lived that long. Of course. He uh, chuckles to himself. I'm very familiar with... Uh, oh, it doesn't have it here. I'm going to have to find his lore so I can give you the proper information. Dang it. <laughs> I'm very find fables. familiar with... Uh, where on earth? Okay, that's the handouts. I know it gives me lore about him somewhere. I just got to find the damn stuff. Esther? No. God, no. God's no. Dexter, Xander. Where are the other ones? Uh. Well. Let's see, that's Monsters, Dramatis Persona, Mortals. He'd be Immortals, I think. Uh, there you are. I need to find the Dragon Lord's name because it's mentioned here. Ah, there it is. Bogus? Adonis, <clears throat> there we go, I have the name now. Uh, I'm of course very familiar with my uh, lover Adonis, Neurodagon. And that name sounds very familiar to you. You know he was one of the dragon lords. And uh, upon mentioning of his name, memories start to flood back to you little bit by little as he goes on about what he remembers of his time. The two of them were lovers. Adonis was famed for his wealth and beauty, but as well as his bravery and generosity. He adopted many children that he freed from the clutches of the Titans. Both of them raised the children together, creating a dynasty that lasts to this day. But unfortunately, this is stuff you don't know because you would have been lost at this point. Adonis's bravery was ill-founded. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't know this part. Uh, he was overconfident in his own abilities, and in spite of Aesop's repeated beggings, he joined the rest of the Order in their last stand against the Titans. That's the part you didn't know about, because you had gone missing before that last stand against the Titans. You do remember this one time in battle, you were fighting a bunch of Gigans, and Adonis, being the uh, overconfident and brass person he is, he rushed ahead of everyone else and you and Xander, of course, had to pull him out of the fire, as it were. Uh, he managed to get it out, but not without a few injuries. And, uh, you know, it's just common for Adonis. His heart was always in the right place, and a lot of people believe that he was the best of the Dragon Lords. Not because of his strength, but of course of, because of his heart, his generosity, his kindness and beauty. But, uh... Uh, 
if something goes on, uh, the dragons seem to have disappeared years earlier before the battle, the last stand with the titans, forcing them to depend on their own power and ability, and without the aids of dragons, Adonis and a lot of the other dragon lords, if not all of them, were killed. After that moment, Aesop founded this shrine here to basically keep the stories of the dragon lords alive and keep their accomplishments in Thylea <laughs> to make sure that this wouldn't fall to legend and hearsay. Uh, Wait, the, hmm? the dragons abandoned them? It, it, I don't, we don't know if they abandoned us per se, but they seem to vanish at a certain point near the end of the war. The Order of Peace managed to keep, obviously, mortal the uh, mortals alive for these 500 years. The gods showed up, thankfully, which helped turn the tide a bit more in our favor. But the dragons at some point seem to vanish, and no one knows quite why. What about the, the old, the, the dragon war? You're absolutely right. There, It should have kept them bonded, but for some reason they vanished. We don't know if it was a spell that the Titans cast, or if something broke the oaths, or maybe they just somehow got separated. It's one of the biggest mysteries that I've been looking into for all this time to try and piece together what happened exactly. I, they must be out there, I'm certain of that, but unfortunately I haven't found any evidence quite yet. But, but while you're doing your labors, I hear you, he notices everyone else here now. You're uh, the heroes of prophecy now. I'd be more than willing to help you with your labors. Uh, we have the Horn of Balmitra. Perhaps it could help you out. But, well, he remembers. Right. I would like to say that, but uh, someone stole the horn recently. If you'd like to investigate the... Uh, reliquary where we kept it, see if you can find any clues. This sounds like a mystery. I'm interested. Indeed. Oh my god, what the fuck happened this early? Why would they steal a cup? Well, it is a very powerful horn. It's the horn of Balmitra herself, one of the dragons of Dragon Lord's Road, uh, Xander's Mount. And one of the most powerful and most respected of the dragons. By drinking through this horn, it gives visions to those who would uh, drink it about the future and what they must do, as well as some other magical effects that are, well, one other magical effect that's pretty useful, to say the least. Come on, Quack Thulu, we got a mystery to solve. <laughs> what is the other effect of the of the cup? Well, let me. Scroll on down to that bit of treasure so I can give that information to you. Because he would absolutely know all the effects of the treasure. <clears throat> okay, uh, while you're doing that, um. Kill the to... nice dragon. <laughs> so, who the hell here is like 500 years old? So, <laughs> Tara. And also, okay. Aesop's at least 500 because he's an elf. Okay. So Tarla's the one with the girlfriend, right? Yes. Okay. How old is your girlfriend? She's Purple. probably <laughs> millennia old. Because she's a nymph. Right or Robert? Okay. Okay. Because the daughter of a god. Because uh, I was thinking for a while there, you know, maybe she, maybe they're not robbing the cradle, but they're robbing the grave. Because 500 is pretty old. Well, Tarla wasn't always 500 years old when their relationship started. Although I'm not exactly sure how old you were when your relationship started. I believe that'd be up to you, Tarla. Ew, Oracle's a groomer. I think she was like, oh, I put 26 on the on my character sheet. All right, so she's 26. Versailles probably in her multiple hundreds at that point. Because again, Grave she's robber. A <laughs> Tarla's the grave robber in this situation <laughs> but uh, to uh, answer Arctavius's question the other magical effect is uh, if you say a command word it 
Oh, wait, no, it does have two different ones. One, it's you drink from it, and it can give you visions. Uh, if you say a command word, it can provide delicious food along with water and wine in sufficient quantity to keep six medium-sized creatures well-fed for a day. If the wine is drunk from the horn, it can sometimes at your discretion induce a deep sleep, uh, at my discretion, the DM's discretion, it uh, can induce deep sleep with dreams that reveal possible futures. The second command word produces a paralyzing mercurial vapor. Once per day, you may use an action to create a cloud within 60 feet of you. The cloud starts with a 5-foot radius, which increases by 5 feet every round to a maximum of 30. Any creatures that start its turn in the mist must make a constitution saving throw or be paralyzed until the start of its next turn. Or Tony Blaze it. So it Why is doesn't a, that sound like very... Hero Feast for one of those? What was it? it? Sounds like Hero's Feast for one of those. I think Hero's Feast also gives you like a buff. This doesn't yeah, it give does. any buff to it. It just you have enough. It's like ten hit points and some shit. Mm. Hero's Feast does a lot of insane stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Aesop. It's a really good sorry. spell. Aesop will take you to the uh, reliquary where it was kept so you can investigate. The reliquary is a small stone chapel with three alcoves protected by glass. The glass of the central alcove has been shattered and dark purple stains are splattered all over the floor surrounding it. Uh, let's see. It doesn't say I need to make you do a check for this part, I don't think. Let's see. Uh... Okay, so it gives this to you, but if you want to follow them, you have to make check. Okay. So at a casual glance, you notice there are many small hoof prints among the stains. The stains are spilled wine, and they form a haphazard trail that leads out of the building and into an adjoining alley after you follow it, because I assume after you find the footprints, you're going to follow them. Uh, you can follow them for a short distance, but the trail becomes a little difficult to follow at a certain point. If you want to continue tracking this down, you're going to have to make a survival check, whoever wants to. Can I just ask Aesop real quick, like, like, oh, it appears, uh, you know, Centaur should be the, the guest here. Do you have any idea why they would want this, this cup? Well, Aesop looks at the footprints when you point them out, it's like, no, the, these footprints are too small for centaurs. They could be satyrs or ah. goatlings, perhaps. Interesting. Any, any, I guess any reasoning behind why to, you know, it's, it's obviously a powerful artifact, but what would they have use of it for? That I'm not sure. I mean, like you said, it's a powerful artifact. If it were satyrs who knew about it maybe they wanted to keep it for their own you know party satyrs do like to drink a lot maybe it's something they thought would be amusing if it was goatlings it might just be a sense of, of mischief and i that, you probably wouldn't be familiar with what goatlings are that tracks that tracks okay thank you and i roll anything to know about goatlings. Let's see. I think they're a fey creature, so I'd say nature. Goat. That's all I know. <laughs> you know they're not satyrs, but they are bipedal goat people? You think? Maybe? Same difference. Or they're just sentient goats. Who knows? They could be. Anyone could. No one knows, really. Or at the very least, you certainly don't know. Huh. Hmm. Alright, so you said it's what, a survival check to track the. Uh, continue tracking? <clears throat> I think it was a survival check, you said, yeah? Yeah, survival. Yeah, survival. Can we all oh. roll, or just one person have to roll? Um, I'd say... i say you could all roll if you want to. Yeah, I've got a plus one. I got a plus two. Shit. 
Well, that's one yeah. on the other side. Uh, <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> I'm just like, still not sure if it's not centaurs, but uh. Oh, there you go. Okay, there it is. You know who's leading the way? Hell yeah. That'll be a 27. Right. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Jeez. so. Tarla, you can follow them pretty easily, but Kaya, you know exactly where this is going. You follow it for a while, and you notice it's going to go into the old woods. So, you all need to make a decision here. Do you want to continue following this to try and grab this horn now? It's going to take you some time, you feel, to go through there. But, like Pythor said, if you want to help Inora, you have until the next moon phase. And this might be, above game, this might head to one of your labors. And it's going to take some time. I say we do the... the... The saving rock thing now. I want to swing by the. Because uh, the... I need to pay off my debt. <laughs> we want to swing by the dragon's tooth. It's probably what getting closer to evening when they get off a shift for the mines. Yeah. Yeah. I say yeah. We should do <clears throat> save the princess first before heading out. I Just love a good. I love a good mystery. Take... Just in case these dude takes us off somewhere that we're not going to get back in time. That's fair. You do know where the path is now, and you can probably come back here. You don't think it's going to vanish within a day. Okay. So you'd probably have enough time to do what you need to. Unless someone is actively hiding it, but considering it does not look like they were trying to hide at all from Kaya's survival check. They were just making a <clears throat> mad dash out of here. Either they're not smart enough to hide their footprints, or they just did not give a shit. So... Yeah, I think we got time. Let me... Oops. There we go. Alright. So... The next on the docket is head to the Order of Sidon and see if they're up for taking you in exchange for Anora. Nice. So you head back to the King's Palace and you inform the attendants what your plan is and where you're going and they lead you to the Order of Sidon. You can find seven people as well as... Give me a second to get his art because you're meeting a lot of people today, I'm noticing. All of we're them are picking up all the side. We're just picking up all the side quests before we decide what to do. Yeah, but uh, you see a bunch of knights in the same armor that the people at the Temple of the Oracle at Versailles place were wearing for the most part. Maybe a little nicer, but it's you know standard bronze armor with a blue cloak. And among them, you see a man with some short brown hair. He has the nicest looking armor amongst them. He's got green eyes bit of a five o'clock shadow and uh, I will show you exactly who we're dealing with he seems to be their leader looks up to, uh, at you and immediately recognizes whoops let me find what I'm looking for here we go he um, looks at you and approaches. Oh, well, if it isn't the uh, heroes of prophecy, as it were, to what do we owe the pleasure? I don't believe in prophecy. Well, we are here to offer ourselves as the sacrifice instead of the princess. He looks just here to marry the princess. He looks genuinely surprised at that. What? Uh, no, I hadn't considered. Okay. Yeah, no, nice. I... This sounds like a plan. So, here's how this is going to go. I'm sure someone informed you about what this entails, but just to be on the safe side, so we're all on the same page here. We're going to so shackle when's... each and every one of you up and take you to the Rock of Esther where you will be chained to the rock in the center and you will need to survive through the night. You will have your weapons, 
and anything you need to cast. It's fair game. You might live, or you might die. We'll just have to see what happens. He's uh, pretty jovial, and him and the other guards pull out the shackles, waiting for you to put your arms out to be uh, chained up and led through town for this sacrifice. So, when is the wedding? <laughs> there is no wedding. Well, the... But, but you I, just I, said... But, 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 maybe later. Just play along. <laughs> so, unless I'm mistaken, everyone's uh, hanging their hands out to be uh, chained up and led forward. We really need to have this parade through town in shackles. I mean, surely you can just shackle when we get there. No, it's part of the sacrifice, I'm afraid. I don't care for that, to be, I'll be honest. <laughs> I mean, you don't but have I to. Could... Oh, now, right. Arteus, it's their religion, so let's at least respect it. Yeah, these are also the assholes that stuck my ship. But anyway, you know, that's <laughs> we're, very cool. we're thinking of you. Thank you. He says, as him and his men chain all of you up to drag you around. Uh. All right, so I'm not going to take you to the map for it yet, because I do have a map for the Rock of Esther, because this is going to be at night when the, those events happen on the map there. So you're led through town. <clears throat> there you are. You're part of a grim procession that leads towards the Rock of Esther in the River Archelon. Gaius and his knights lead you through the ford and onto the sacrificial rock. They undo the shackles and then bind you to a pole that is in the center. Gaius motions you and said, says, You are now offered as sacrifices to appease the Lord of Storms. Remain here until the sun rises. If you step away from the rock, this city will suffer the wrath of Sidon. And they step over to the side. They are going to watch the sacrifice, make sure, you know, no one tries to leave. About 12 centaurs gather to watch the proceedings on the opposite side of the river as well. So it's both them. And now we will switch to here. It comes to about quick... around night. But uh, what were you going to say? I was going to ask, um, would the centaurs be able to hear me? Oh, yeah. Okay, could I ask them if they found the four gold? <laughs> they look at you confused. You get the feeling that these aren't, might not be the centaurs that uh, chased those bandits. But uh, you're all chained to this pole. And to explain basically what we're you're dealing with right now, you have this pole in dead center that I have the arrow coming out of. You can move 10 feet away from it. And that's it. That's all the chain allows you to do. You can try to pick the lock on there, or you try to smash the cuff if you want to move any further. But if you step into the water, it's seen as you leaving the rock. So if you break it and you have free movement around this rock, you can move on the rock. You just can't leave it. So we gotta keep in contact. <clears throat> we have to keep in contact of this rock at all times. Yes. It doesn't matter if you pop off that shackle, but if you leave that rock, then you are gonna have to deal with everyone and the town being attacked by the centaur army. Okay. So... Um, if happens, I... break the rock and tape it to the bottom of our shoes, we can technically move. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> yeah, I don't think We can reach how... anywhere on this rock within 10 feet, so it's not really. we don't really need to break it anyway. I'm thud, and even I thought that was a stupid submission. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Thud, thud thinks it's dumb. <laughs> but it, it's 10 foot of your position. Well, I guess... You know, Could I, I, guess I use I think my... everyone on the rock's within 10 feet. I think. Could I use my strength to break the uh, chain for uh, the knight, the lion guy, and myself? Oh, yeah. No, you have plenty of time because, you know, you have to wait until the next day, basically. Um, you just make an attack on it, and it has an armor class in health, so 
you know, just take some time to bash that. You've got enough time. Okay, well, I'll roll for that. Oh well, my Well, that's God. a natural 20, so that's gonna Jesus fucking hit. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. I was gonna save that for if we got into a fight. And that's yeah, right? 16. You obliterate the shackle on your foot. Like, no, no contest. It's just gone. You destroy it completely. You were going to chop just the chain, but you managed to hit in just the right spot where the chain meets the shackle, and it blasts open. Well, shit. So it's smash. Indeed he do. Indeed. My catchphrase, as we all know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, indeed. I, lo I love how indeed <laughs> is probably the most, like, <laughs> well-known catchphrase next to Smash. Yeah. Smash and indeed. Indeed Smash. Smash and indeed. Tara just pulls out her loot and just starts to play it. Okay. And... Well, it's time for a round of Gwent. Hmm? Oh. Alright, I was... I'm gonna cast this really quick. Okay. I'm just curious. Druidcraft. Okay, so what are you trying to find out with Druidcraft? Like, what's the weather gonna be like? <laughs> like, is, are we gonna get rained on? I'm just curious. Good question. <laughs> I'm gonna say... <laughs> um, yeah, it's gonna... Actually, no, because you're in the middle of a drought at the moment. And this is in part to get Sidon to bring weather, basically, back to Astora. <laughs> so, it's gonna be dry tomorrow. You don't have to worry about getting rained on. Okay, just wondering. The, dru the druid name just kind of, like, reminded me of a meme. Where it's like, when a druid attacks, he just reaches behind and breaks off a branch and hits the other person in the head. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Um, do you want to try and flavor your druid craft? How you, uh, get that information? Or, nah? Uh, I just stare up at the sky. <laughs> for like a really long time it's like yep it's not gonna rain <laughs> Lick, licks his finger puts it into the air yep it's pretty dry <laughs> yep pretty much there is no rain there's a 50% chance it's not raining right now <laughs> <laughs> only 50% it could rain but nah I don't think it will but who knows you know <laughs> A little rain won't hurt us. Considering you're all connected to the pole, connected to chains, and lightning storm comes, yeah, I don't know. yeah you're all fine, totally. Yeah, <laughs> nothing I mean, to I worry. Break my, I can break my chain too if I wanted to. I just don't want to right now. Until until I felt like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it happens well, you know, at about this point. You uh, notice that three. Three things are flying overhead above you. Kaya would notice this because, you know, she was already looking up at the time. And you squint a little bit and you notice that you think it's harpies, maybe? They don't seem to be, like, swooping down to attack you or anything. And they're not, you know, using their songs, but they are yelling taunts at you, mocking you as they fly overhead. Can I throw my javelin at it? They're really high up. I don't think I'm your javelin I'm really far. strong. I don't think your javelin could go far enough, but I'd have to see what the javelin's range is. Like, they're probably at least 100 feet in the air, if not higher. Never mind. Mm. My, my muscles are pretty big. I was about to do some vicious, vicious, vicious mockery back at them. Well, the javelin has a range of 120 feet. They might just barely be in range, but you'd have disadvantage on the throw. You'd also be throwing it straight up, so there's a chance that it could hit someone on the rock with you. I want to wait to fine. make that chance. You, you might want to wait. I'm just saying. I could technically hit them, but I don't want to waste that spell that, if I just no, want I... to explode one of them. No, Hold the line. No. Just, just could, could, I, could I throw the duck? The duck's not out right now. Uh, Can I throw the one that summons the duck? So it'll be. I like mean, I'm chained. I'm chained to the. I'm chained to the rock, so you could try. 
you would have to break this chain. What's the range of your sling? Yeah, there you go. Let me take. I'll, I'll throw. I, can I throw the entire sling at it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All twenty. All oh, twenty rocks, rocks plus the rubber band. All right, let me see the range of sling. It well, it is one hundred and twenty feet. If you want to sling a rock up there, <laughs> I will sling a rock up there. Yes. Let's do, do it. it. And it should be on your sheet sling. Yep. Oh. That is a six. Which Hell yeah. Which misses. So you start spinning it around and you throw a rock up and it plops into the water nearby. Does that count as leaving? No, it's the rock, not you. You showed them, Thud. Good job. Indeed he did. Just, just, next time I'll aim for the cloud and hit you. <laughs> Fire a warning shot across her nose. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, you know, everyone in the Unseen Legion isn't going to see this because they're in Tarla Vision, but about 20 minutes passes. And uh, those of you with Dark Vision see something emerging from the water. Tarla would uh. hear it. Okay, so I have something for this. Um, I would like to use one of my torches. Okay, so let me grab you a torch. Let's see, where's torch? There is torch. And I will put it on your token. Huh, it's not spreading nearly as much light as I thought it would. Hold on. Do we need more torches? More torches. <laughs> Surround the island in torches. Now all of Just Gondor knows you're here. Just move them around and it'll be great. Light the beacons. Gondor Light seeks the beacons. I mean, I think I'm technically a living torch as well. I could just set myself on fire. Yeah, but then here. you'd be burning everyone else around you. We only got like 10 feet Oh wait, I see us. why it's not working. I have it on the wrong layer. That would do it. Because I was on the GM's lair. There we go. Now you can hey. see. I can see. I can fight. <laughs> really? Okay. Tell ya. All right. And I'd like everyone to start rolling initiative because they're coming in hot. Is that a pun for my so torch? Close. You know, it wasn't intended to be. I'll be honest. But now it is. Yes. Oh, my God. You were asleep, Artavius. <laughs> yeah, right. I was facing the other way. I didn't notice it. Yeah, that's what... Ah! Uh, my was also asleep. I've had trash initiative like the last like three combats. <laughs> Oof. A lot trash of nat everything. ones in initiative I'm seeing. Hell yeah. We are... Okay, lucky number 13. Playing Gwent. Okay, so let me grab my sheet for yeah. these mysterious creatures that you don't know what they are until you, you know, actually look into it. I am deep in meditative prayer, and I do not notice them coming. <clears throat> oh. You're going to get blindsided by them. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So it doesn't look like it put everyone in, so I'm going to add everybody onto the sheet at Ooh, least. Oh, didn't click your tokens. I I forgot I was still on the little draw <laughs> map. Well, the, the, the little arrow thing where I clicked my token. <laughs> uh, who else is missing here? Tarla's not on the sheet. And Thud is not on the sheet. That turn. There we go. So, let's see. Andros. Got an Andros. Three. Three. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. It just says... Oh, that's right. This was bef This token is from before. I set everyone up in this area before your character had a proper name, so it's not giving your actual name. Yeah, Onyx character. It's giving my name. Yep, so let me, uh... You left the water! Oh shit. No, there's two of them! It's a mimic! I, sh another, I, learned, another shadow mimic. Clone. <laughs> I learned Shadow Clone Jutsu. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, that's just me. Oh shit. There you go, you can still use Dave? the token from before. Is that you, Dave? 
Uh, don't let him touch me. I've been stuck to one door enough already. <laughs> what are you doing, Dave? Oh. No, 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 touch me. It's it. No. Three. Could I, could I keep him as a pet? No. <laughs> That's racist. That Bam. And slide him in with everybody else here. Perfect. Okay. Let's see, who else are we missing in the initiative order here? Me, uh, because I only have a zero. Thud is 13. Roll off. Octavius was one. Let's see, Thud has a zero, and who else had 13? The Basilisks. The Basilisks. And they uh, have a minus monster. one, so Thud would go first. Hell yeah. They're not nice. very dexterous. Go figure. Good to know. All right. <laughs> so, Ty is up first. You're still shackled, so you can only move 10 feet from the pole. I, I just see something moving through the water. I'm going to take a step back. Yeah, I'll try to just back up as. I guess. Is that as far as I can go? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think anywhere on the rock is pretty much fair game. All right. Well, um, it depends. You can only move you're... ten feet. I can move anywhere. I mean, ten feet, but like anywhere on the rock is within ten feet, pretty much. Well, from, the thing just from is, measuring it's from it. where you are, too, because there's also other people that are chained at the same time, and then there's chains. So you couldn't crossing. like go like. Okay, ten feet from your your starting spot. Yeah. So like, okay. I thought I'll just make would be able to go this way, because then he'd okay. have to somehow step around Andros. It'd be fine. I mean, if you <laughs> want to get tangled up in chains, you do you, I guess. But uh... I'm into it. I mean, what? <laughs> be... All right. I mean, I'll yeah, be down here. Here. <laughs> Wait, did we not break our chains? <laughs> uh, Thud broke his, but no one else broke their cuffs. So, from your position, Ninja, hell yeah. I don't know if he could move. Well, hold on. I, that is still technically 10 feet, so I think he could move there. Yeah, because I started right here. Yeah. I'm doing snap to corner, so it's uh, correct on the... Because it is technically in the corner, the actual central pole, so it's easier that way. Five warriors, that one sword. But, uh... You gonna try and attack these creatures in the water? Are there multiples, or is it just the one? There are two. Well, let me move oh. the turn order for chat, because I just realized one of them is buried underneath it. There we go. Yeah, I saw that. Ah. Ah. I see. So you probably had a very similar situation where it was mm. burying the other one. Yeah. Um. They're, like, coming at us? Yes, they're coming at you. They look hungry. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna. Same. This. Well, I saw this one first. <laughs> so I took a step back, and I'm gonna cast. Well, with my action, I'm gonna cast Fairy Fire. So I need to make a Dex save. Okay. Oh shoot. Things that can wonky on me. Yeah, my bad. I'm trying to do something else. My bad. All right. So that. Let's try to see what the range was. Dex save. Yep, they look very hungry. DC save. 13 dex. And that is a 10. All right, so mark them. All attacks on that creature have advantage. Do I have? And it cannot be hidden. A fairy Ooh. fire token here. Create bonfire, bullseye, dancing lights. It's weird to me that this dynamic lighting spells didn't give me fairy fire because that's like one of the more common ones, but oh well. I'll just give it a little uh, token for light up. Let's see. No, that's. I love that I have that. That I have a drunk condition thing on here, but that isn't what we're looking for right now. Uh, let's just give him a color. I'll give him that light green. And does it say the? It does, let's see. Each object 20 foot cube. Blue, green, or violet light. Any creature in the area, blah, blah, blah. A dim light in 10 foot radius. That's what I was looking for. Because I can actually make this thing produce light now. So it is low light for 10 feet. 
and I can't give it a color. That's lame. I if I could. Oh no, yes I can. What color is your light? Um, I'll make it like a. I. I probably like a yellowish, like a campfire, maybe. It says um, in the spell it specifically mentions blue, green, or violet. Uh, you know, let's let's make it a nice blue. All right, blue it is. <clears throat> All right, and you are within 30 feet of one of these creatures. Uh, did you have anything oh, no. else you wanted to do first, or because uh, that was your action? Uh, bonus action, I'm going to activate a starry form. All right. Uh, nope, that, that is the wrong th wallet oh, text. <laughs> That's the wrong wallet text, sorry. Oh my god, so much. Like, sorry, I have a lot of stuff. Yeah. And as that same bonus action, I'm going to go... Uh, you know, go Archer. Okay. And at that same bonus action, I'm going to target the one I hit with advantage. That's very cool. The 17. Hell uh, yeah. Yeah, that hits. Nine damage. Okay, minus nine. Hell yeah. All right, and now, because like I said, you're in 30 feet of the one south of you, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh no. 19? That makes oh, yeah. it. You start to feel a little stiff, but you shake it off like it's not that big a deal. You close your eyes and, um, let's see, these are monstrosities. What was the intelligence check for that? Because I, depending on what it is, I might allow you to do a check to figure out what's going on here. Uh, monster knowledge, that's where my stuff on that is. Let's see, for monstrosity. Uh, yeah, no, if you want, you could roll an arcana check to see if you can figure out what's going on, what these things are. It might be useful. Seven. That nat 20 on the other side. You have no idea. These are, it's very dark, and you're seeing in grayscale because of your vision this way. So you're, well, you're not quite my... sure. Oh, before I end my turn, I'm going to say, that thing looked at me funny and I started feeling weird. Be careful. Turtle, what? you're up. <clears throat> can I make a roll off of what he just said? Yeah, you can make an arcana check, see if you can figure out what these things are. 14? Alright, I will give you that you're pretty sure these creatures are basilisks. You don't know much about them, but you do know that they have a gaze of stone. They, the way they hunt creatures is they stare at them and turn them to stone. Their saliva can dissolve this stone. So for them, it's like they're eating meat, but if you're not careful and you look at them in the eyes, you could <clears throat> turn to stone. That's not very conducive for living. Mm, we can't look at them in the eye. Yes, so above game, if you want to attack them, you can choose to close your eyes and instill disadvantage on yourself. But you won't have to worry about the check against their vision. But if you do keep your vision, you won't get disadvantage, but you have a chance to be turned to stone if you fail a con save. It's not going to be an immediate process. It's going to take some turns, but still, it's a risk you have to calculate whether you're willing to take it or not. Is turning to stone like a disease or is it like something different? It is a magical effect. Ooh. Okay. So, my question is, if I don't directly look at his eyes, will I still take effect of it? The creature starts its turn from 30 feet. So, I'll read the wording here to make it clear the situation. If a creature starts its turn within 30 feet of the basilisk, and the two of them can see each other... The basilisk can force the creature to make the con save. So if the okay. two of you can see each other, then the save is made. Fuck. Okay. I let the party know of this. The good thing the one over there is lit up. Mm. Which would just neutralize your disadvantage, basically. That one you don't have to worry about. This one you do. But it's currently uh, occupied with Kaya, so... 
but it can I see you. Well then, for my action, okay, kill the so ugly Christmas tree. Okay, so it, it only has to be 30 feet in order for it to use its effect? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Vicious mockery on lit up this football. All right, so let me do a wisdom, which uh, not very wise, honestly. And that's a one, so it takes the wow. full four. And has disadvantage on its next attack. And, and uh, then, oops. bonus action, offhand. Da, 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 da. Chakra. Okay. Ooh. See, a 19 is gonna hit. For five damage. All right. And the reason why I like the chakra is because they are a returning weapon. Oh, yeah. Okay. Return. So, thud. You all made fun of me. Except for you, Alec. I like you. <laughs> but I am going to move this way, so that way I am 35 feet away from either of them. And I will use the sling. Okay. All right, so that is slightly out of range, so that's at disadvantage. So you're going to miss. Damn. It will be, it's, it is new in the fairy card one. Oh wait, that's right. So it would be a flat if you're attacking the one over on uh, this side over here. So yeah, that's gonna hit. That's the one I was aiming for. Okay, then yeah, you're gonna hit. Okay. Oh yeah. And for how much damage? Hell yeah. Thank you, my knight friend. Good job, Thud. Thud, thud is not, uh, Thud with long range attack now. Hell yeah. Extra dangerous. <laughs> I just realized their HP was Love to see it. That, I was gonna say, does it. Uh, it's like, does it only do the. Or do you add your strength to it, or? Well, it would be a um, a dex weapon, but I'm looking at it. It doesn't seem like it adds anything to it. No, at least it's flat. So. Yeah. Okay. All right, and now yeah. the basilisks are up. This one is lit up, and I mean, actually, I should move. Did you take the torch with you, Thud? I should probably move it if you did. I I just left it on the ground, me. Okay, so then I won't move it. We'll just leave it where it is. Yeah, because okay. the whole point of it was just to like for the other person. Yeah. So let's see. He could and probably will try to uh, get up to the guy that beamed him with a rock. I'm hoping so. And Shit. He's gonna go try and chomp on you. That's fine. That'll be a twenty-four. <laughs> That'll be a 10. Vicious mockery. Oh, you're right. So that doesn't hit. However, hey, does that trigger top light as well? Well, you are pretty close to him. So is that five feet? Five feet from you? Yeah, no, that you're five feet from him. Hell yeah. So you absolutely can get your attack out first. Hell that's yeah. Advantage. Hell yeah. <laughs> so that's going to hit. I fucking love it. You'll love to see it. Hell yeah. Minus eight. Boom. And now, Thud, I need you to make me a con save because of his petrifying gaze. Because I imagine the two of you are going to be staring at each other here. Oh, con save. Where is it? Um, so you should see to the right of your abilities uh, saving, and it has all of the stuff in it. And you just got to click on con save in there. Do I need to as well from the reaction attack? It's not my turn, but I mean... Yeah, I think so. You both have to make it, because you can both okay. see it, and it can both see you. On saving throw. I still can't find it. Shit. Well, that's going to be a uh, failure, but... Uh, oof! Let me take a look at your sheet really quick, because... I mean, I know what the sheet looks like, but it's easier for me to point it out if I can actually look at the dang thing. It's top left in the saving throws box. Yeah. So... Oh, saving throws, okay. Yep. Yep. So constitution? constitution? Yes. Yep. 
And that will succeed. And, nice. uh... I mean, I just say Andros too, but I think it's more focused on the people that attacked it. So it might not actually see you at this moment, because it's focusing on those two. But, uh... Our, oh boy, Artavius. So, you're starting to feel really stiff, and... Uh, you start to turn... You notice where, um... About where your feet are, you notice your scales, or well, it'd be your shoes, are starting to turn to stone. You see Gray starting to slowly climb up on you. And you must repeat your saving throw at the end of your next turn. <coughs> if you succeed, then you'll be able to shake this off. But on a failure, you're going to be petrified. Cool. And so this is not something I can cure with, like, lay on hands. This is a magical effect? Yes. There's no way to okay. cure it with... Okay. You would need greater restoration to heal this, which oh, okay. is gotcha, above gotcha, gotcha. Uh, the party's current pay grade. Yeah, yeah. I just knew that little hands can do like disease, but it's not. It's not yeah, disease. So spell. gotcha. Okay. Shit. That's not great. No. Yeah. No, it's not. Hey, hey, guys! I'm getting stoned. <laughs> <laughs> They've tried stoner thing me. It did not work. Uh, uh, Andros, get in there. Stab. That's gonna hit. Uh, spending a key point to do flurry of blows. Okay. I just realized Kai isn't on the map. I should bring her Mess in. Mess him up. And that'll also hit. Fuck him up. Hell yeah. Boom, he's looking real rough. And you get one more, right? Yeah. Uh, I actually combined Flirt. it. Well, let's see. No, I don't think I get another. Sure. I think Flurry of Blows gives you two attacks. Or is that at a later you can normally level, do, does it? You can normally do one at, at one attack with an offhand. Yeah, I will do an offhand, sure, why not? Okay. Oh, you know what? I uh, just realized I never had the other basilisk come in. Whoops. I can't worry about it. Don't I'll let you it. continue your turn, but then no. I'm going to have uh, the other one go. Offhand. That will hit. So let's see. That's without the bonuses, right? Because it's offhand. Mm -hmm. So that'd just be three. But that's still decent because it's looking real rough, that one. But before we move on to Artavius, I'm gonna have the other basilisk come on up. He's probably Please gonna don't. go for Kaya. And uh it's gonna try and lay a chomp on you. Uh yeah, 18, no, yep. You're gonna take 13 piercing and six poison. I, that just drops me. Damn. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm down. My fairy fire drops. My starry form drops. Oh, shit. Okay. Yep. Well. Hmm. It just yeah. yeah. It just one shots me. All right. It's gonna. This is looking real familiar. Gonna turn to look at Tarla now, and uh, Tarla, that. I need you to uh, make that con save. You know, the only difference was they weren't trying to be sneaky. That is, that is true. I thought. And uh, another question is: Wait, you know, con save. Yes. How non biteable is your skin? Mm. <laughs> Tarla, you start seeing your skin turn to a flat gray. This is it's not looking good. EPK, so, let's go, guys. So, Artavius, well, it. it's your move. The one right nearby well, all of you looks really rough. Yeah, but... Um, all right, so can I, do I make the save first on the... Or at the end of the turn? It's the end of your turn. Okay. Artavius, do a really nice, really cool pose before you turn statue. Yeah, no doubt. For sure, for sure. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'll move over all right let's let's move to here i'm gonna throw a cure wounds okay 
Thank you. Cast right, at, yeah. So, because you did not disengage, the uh, Basilisk gets to make an opportunity attack on you. Cool. Do it. Holy shit. 24 oh. is going to hit. It'll hit. It'll hit. That's fine. For 8 All piercing good. and 8 16. Uh. Jesus Christ. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> They're both down. <laughs> uh, it's not yet. No, oh. we're fine. Get the we're druid fine. up so the druid can wild shape. <laughs> okay, and uh, is that it for your turn? Yeah, I gotta make my con save, right? Yes. Speaking of the druid. Or I'm fucked. One or the other. 16. All right, you manage to shake off the stone, and as it's climbing up your cap, you manage to break it off, and thankfully it didn't root into your skin, so you're not breaking your legs off. That's good. Just hmm. a thing? That's good. If you turn tis, into full stone, yes. Tis but a scratch. All right, get back in the voice. fight. Let's do this. All right. All right. Thank you. Well... I'm going to use my other wild shape to use my other starry form to chalice up. Okie doke. That would be very nice. The strats. That's why I picked them up. <laughs> yeah. All right. And time to do the good old as Artavis is picking me up because I'll use half of my movement to get up as well. Chalice is really good. You heal five. Oh, hell yeah. And I'll heal four. Would you like to close your eyes? Yes. Okay, so you close your eyes so you don't have to worry about making that con save. Artavius, you... not gonna lie, I'm scared. Could you imagine if you missed your healing and healed the creature? <laughs> oh, don't start. I'm glad that's not a thing. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is not great, I'll admit. It's not great. I'm having fun. Hmm. Can you imagine if Inora was here and had to deal with these things? This one's almost down. Yeah, yeah, I'm relying on Flood to kill that one. Finish it out, guys. I was relying on I'll you guys to kill that one. Hey, hey man. No, you can kill I had, to, I had to do some healing. <laughs> I, I did most of the work on this one. Yeah, I helped. I had I had other plans. All right. Just hit it. Don't grapple. So, just hit it. Did you have <laughs> anything else to do? Just or, take uh... your axe and kill it. <laughs> Please, God. Was that your uh, full turn, Kaya, or...? Yeah, I had to use... I had to use all my stuff. Alright, so now... So Tar hopefully this thing doesn't kill me again. Yeah, yeah right. hopefully. Jesus Christ. Wait, do uh, Star Druids get temporary hit points as well when they do no. their Star form? No. Oh... No, I just get magic. Okay. I mean, magic That's, is good. Uh, I can see the downside in that, but... You can also still, I mean, as a druid, I think you can also turn into animals, which is like healing, in a sense. Yeah, but I had to use both of my wild shapes already. That's mm -hmm. true. That's, that's the thing with Starry. You could have became a giant elephant. Nah, I think, don't think she's seen no, an elephant yet. turn into one. Well, couldn't do it anyway. Yeah, plus... Challenge think... rating's too high. Yeah. Alright, so Tarla. Alright, Tarla. Clean it up. <laughs> Tara will close her eyes, and then she starts to sing a melody of Ding Dong, I Know You Can't Hear Me, as she used Disparate Whisper. Okay. Basilisk. Wisdom. That's the description. Wow, that's an 18. Damn it. Damn it. Oh my god, this basket is wide beyond his years. Uh, Half as much damage. Half as much? Okay, hey, that's still damage. Yep. Oh, yeah, but I was hoping it, it will run away from us. Yeah. No, yeah, that would have been great. Damn it, I realized I'm on the wrong screen now. There we go. The challenges of having two screens. I have four. So I can use my inspiration to make another thing roll instead, huh? And then Ooh. I will give Bardic Inspiration to I would say Lion Man because he's got two attacks. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it Andros. Alright. I'm doing my monk shit. Thud. <laughs> 
basilisk right here. Kill it. Kill it, bud. Okay, I could either kill this thing or I could grab this one, which is near no, no, all of these. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. You clearly want grapple, me to kill just this kill. thing. Just down one just of us in one hit. Just kill it. Yeah. Just please, God. Should I pull out the sling? No. I mean, no, it's that's right your on axe. top of you. The axe will probably do it. If it and that unfortunately oh, does not hit. Oh, so, shit. Wait, don't you? You have your rages. He didn't. You, you didn't rage. Yeah, I didn't rage. You sure didn't. Can you rage <laughs> now? Maybe that'll yeah. save you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll rage now. I'll save him, but it won't save me. <laughs> no. Oh Jesus. You're fine. Give you the uh, ragey icon. My eyes are closed, so if he bites me, it's fine. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the concentration check. Ah, yes. Thirteen. All right, you're good. Just also, Draco, I think 10. my token's broken too, because I don't have a my health isn't displaying correctly. <laughs> Just FYI. All right, let me fix your token real quick. To... Just for all those viewers at home to see that I'm low health. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Maybe I want to there it is. In a bit, <laughs> That's level one health. Hell I had yeah. you guys really far out because I wanted everything to be seen, but now I realize, you know, I could probably zoom in and make this a little more. That's much better. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's the basilisk yeah. time. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Who does he want to go for? Thud or Andros? I mean, Andros did just lay the smack down on him. I didn't do shit. <laughs> you can't prove it. Not just thud, but it's angry. Uh, that's a 14. That's my armor class. All right, so that will Oh, no. For oh, 14. 14. Ow. You're still up. Thankfully, it doesn't get multi-attack. Please right. don't. So does it go for the easy prey, or does it go for Tarla? Hmm. I could have grappled this. This is exactly what I was... Predicting. It wouldn't help. The grapple doesn't help. So let's see. One, two, Stop three. Stop trying to grapple everything. Carla's one. Exactly. Just Octavius swing the club, two, hit things. And Kaya's three. That's a four. That's a re-roll. Three. Well, it's going for Kaya. Just stops his movement now. If you could restrain it. Well, I won't be enough. biting you. So. And in, in hindsight, well, we probably should have. That's a twenty. Should have gotten some nets or something to restrain. Well, you didn't know this was no, coming. Yeah, the way I could use my. It's an eight plus seven. I think that brings well, you back down. At least giving us advantage. A question. Okay. I know the hoplite thing. I guess is isn't. He's not within five feet. Well, I your guess. ally is, but it is not in range to be attacked. Do I? Who who was it last session that gave me the long spear? Do I still have that? Yes, you if, should still have it. If uh, no, but if you didn't give it back, then yeah, you'd still have it. I I went to give it back, and you said you told me to keep it. I think, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Then yeah, you can make the attack on it. Okay. Can I use the the spears like well, like one d six? Is it just like the Dorada? So the Dorada's like yeah. a yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me see if this will. Oops, not it. Mean to roll this damage. Mean actually attack. Better. Holy That's a shit! Natural twenty. Oh. All right, let's roll that damage. Keep that up. Please smite. Here we go. Okay, so. please it's smite. just a react. You, you, can't you just smite on it, please. Yeah. It's only a reaction attack. Yeah, it's a reaction you attack. Can, you, can, you can use Divine Smite on any hit. That's really? true. It does say. Yeah, divine, smite, divine Smite is different from your Smite spells. Divine Smite can be used on any attack. So do you want to get Smitey on it? Never, Hell, let's never, do it. Never played a Paladin, so I cannot confirm. So, it will be 48 since you cleared it. Okay, so that. Do you want to just double that, or do you want to roll it again? You can just roll That's another interest view. Okay. Why is it blue? Oh, because he rolled never an eight that. and an one. So he rolled the highest and the lowest on that roll. That's why it's. I've never seen play. that before. Yeah, it's interesting. Wild. <laughs> That's minus 16 total. All right. Okay. That's on top of the normal damage, right? Yes. It's already did yeah. what eleven I damage. Did the so. 11. Love it. Hell yeah. Twenty seven. Hell um, yeah. On a reaction. Love to see it. Alright, and uh the basilisk will turn to look at you, because you very clearly just <laughs> smacked it. 
And uh, you need to make that con save because you did not close your eyes for this attack. Don't me again? Of course. Yes. Of course. All right. Another con save. Let's fail it. 15. That'll make it. Thank God. All right. Andros, you're up. Hey, does Andros. I... Did you have double attack? You can attack the bottom. I just realized that I could... Oh. Okay. Plus you have Bard of whatever, so you could probably kill it. Hold on, I'm, I'm reading stuff. Yep. Oh, yeah, stuff. Just, just, just reading. Put down the anime. Let's get going. <laughs> That's the magic stuff. Put down the, uh, what do you call it? What, what is that thing called again? Al Alec, you should know, uh, from oh, screw it, Skyrim, it. from Skyrim, the, the Lusty Argonian. Uh, Lusty <laughs> Argonian Maid, that's the book. Oh, yeah. That's not gonna hit. Um, you had Bard you have Bard's Bard's inspiration. Yep. D6. D6. Roll your D6. Oh, that hits! How Perfect. do you want to kill it? I uh, punch it through its eye socket. Okay. You s stab with your sword and you go through its eye and you keep going through until your hand is inside it. And you, you're you pretty sure you've broken and fractured the skull and you rip your sword out and all sorts of blood, viscera, and skull bits litter the floor of this stone. <sighs> That's how it should have went for most of these <laughs> fights. And uh, where, what would you like to do from here? You can only move 10 feet from your current position. Mm, that's not good. You should just hit this other guy. I <laughs> can't have got to go 10 feet. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. I could make it from mine. You just guys take a five by step. There's a bunch of chains, <laughs> so... <laughs> Take 10 You're gonna feet be back. a little <laughs> tangled. Yeah. Or That's we'll say fine. do a deck, just quick deck save to see if you uh, trip over any of these chains. See, there shouldn't be any chains on that side. Well, I mean, let's see. If we... Theory. You're fine. Oh, you managed to step carefully around them. Yeah. Okay. I'll. I'll use my key, my last key point to do flurry of blows on this. Right. You wouldn't be able to move right there, but you would be able to go like to there. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you can absolutely do your flurry of blows. Whoops, I'm on the wrong screen. Though. Just do two arm strikes. Damn it. That's a natural one. Oh, well, no. it's time to roll that nat one to see how you do. Oh, no. Mm. Not the fumble chart. Here comes he broke the his hands. I broke my bone. Let's see, that is. Trips so falls and looks directly into its eyes. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna re-roll it because I don't reasonably see how you cut yourself with your fist. My claws. <laughs> oh yeah, that's He's true. Crossed. You do have claws. Oh shit. So. Ouch! You go to punch this basilisk and your hand hits it in just the wrong way that it comes back at you and your claws involuntarily come out. You scratch yourself and you've uh, lightly wounded yourself. You Ow. bleed 10% of your max HP per round until someone can successfully patch you up with a medicine Shit. check or heal you with a spell. Jesus That's Christ. good. I got one more unarmed strike. It's true. And that will not hit. Dang it. So let's see, 10% of 20. I used all my hero juice on that one basculus. <laughs> oh, hopefully this is the only fight tonight, huh, guys? <laughs> uh, I will close my eyes. <laughs> Shit. Just sitting here blind. What's going on, guys? Yeah, I'm, just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna close my eyes. Just so, so uh, boned. I calculate okay, you level not, two. Your next round, you're going to lose two HP just because of the bleeding, unless someone patches you up uh, or casts a spell to heal you, whichever comes first. Okay. Tavius. 
Okay. Do I hit it or do I heal? That's up to you and your uh, party what they want. I I'm, I'm kind of throwing out there like, do I pick up? Hey, what's more worthwhile? Should we just throw That's melee it. or Try do I pick up Kaya? Kaya got Kaya. Okay. But their their it. turn's next is my my only comment. But anyway, I'll I'll attack. Let's just attack. Let's just do it. Let's just attack. Let's just let's just fucking do it. Let's go. Be my hero, man. God. Thirteen's not gonna hit. Of course it's not. Why would it? Why would it ever? Time for that con save. Yep. Fail it. Fail it. Fail it. Fifteen. All right, that saves. <sighs> you're cheating the system. <laughs> Kaya, you're See, I want the fail, and it doesn't give it to me, so it works. <laughs> ah, clever. <laughs> That's using your noodle. Get saved. Let's go. Is this going to be another? What do you call that? Success. Whew. Is this going to be another five warriors, one sword moment? We'll have. Are they, to uh, they turn into stone, or what's the deal on the that? So it's not looking at her right now. It's more focused on you. So. Okay. You can make the con saves when, you know, you have to. Um, I guess, technically speaking, not. it's more focused on you. And like I ruled before, how it wasn't focused on Tarlaso, or it wasn't focused on Andros, so he didn't have to make the save. Tarl and Andros don't have to make the save because its attention is focused on Octavius right now. Yeah, I just was saw, like, Kaya, like, making death saves. Like, are they turning to stone, or...? No, she's just... Not to make it worse, I'm just curious. She's <laughs> just trying to not beat out. <laughs> okay. But, Tarla, you're Check. up. I open up my eyes to cast... Healing Word. Okay. Kaya. All right. Kaya's gonna get that 6 HP. That was my bonus action. For my main action, I am going to hit it with my ripe hair. Okay. And I will not hit it with my ripe hair. Yeah, that's gonna oh, miss. God, I hate level level two stats. <laughs> no, right? God, oh but uh, thud. I will close my eyes. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go right beside it since I'm not on a chain. Oh, yeah. It's true. Oh, and yeah. I'm not very good with spells, but I thought I could have. <laughs> hit it. But hit it. I, I, I will, I will, I will this thing hit up it. like it's during like initiation or something. Thud <laughs> cast axe. I you will cast sling. No. Also no, murder sandwich. You can learn the highway. The choice is yours. Murder sandwich. Murder sandwich. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think you that have, hits. Uh, you have advantage because you're still raging, right? Yeah, that's right. Now, I'm so that's 25. Pathless. Technically, it's 27 because you have flanking. All right, and that's 9, well, plus the rage, so that would be 11 damage. Well, plus 2. Plus oh, yeah. flanking? Well, flanking doesn't give you a damage bonus, just an attack Ugh. bonus. But it's looking real rough. I like shit, and I want you. And now it's going to kill somebody. I'm going to look directly in its eyes. I think oh, no, we're striking. Yeah. I think it's going to oh, focus no. on Come Thud, on. who just knocked him real hard with that fucking battle axe to its side. Oh, wow. I I gotta, it's it's going to con save, right? Yeah. Yep. So, Thud, do okay. that con. I need more con save. That will not make it. You start to slowly turn to stone, once again starting at your feet and working its way up slowly. I don't need legs, I just need arms. And it's going to try and bite at you. But a nine isn't no. going to hit. Andros, oh, yeah. it's your move. Very well. It I shall you sword. <clears throat> nope. That's not Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Come on. I wish my bonus action to unarm strike. Okay. 14? That will also not hit. Just barely <laughs> not enough. Come oh, boy. Come on. Dead, Love to see it. Finish All right. him. Finish him. Come on, please hit. You don't Just need do another it. Five. Jesus uh, Christ! 
Oh my god. Sword all over again. Five heroes, one sword. Five heroes, one lizard. Final boss? What's happening here, guys? Ken. Well, it's been nice knowing you guys. Alright. Also, yeah. we gotta make a con save. You sure so do. This is where it ends. That'll make it. Androth, did you make a con save? Oh, wait. Teacher's pet over here, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> No. Oh and no! You wonder why we're losing. To to stone. Why'd you say something? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Hey, hopefully, I can kill this thing. Please. And then you just gotta fight off the uh, petrification. Oh god. Oh. But, uh, okay. Kaya, you're up. I'm good, just gonna jump out of this thing and try to hit it with my scimitar. Okay. <laughs> Someone please kill this thing. Thirteen. 13. That's well, it will be 15 because I'm flanking. Oh, wait, that's right. That will hit. Yeah. Please, oh, three. God. Please. Okay, three. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's barely <laughs> hanging on. I have an offhand attack. You do? Oh, my God. Seven. Nine. Nope. That won't hit. I'm oh, just on this thing's back continue. trying to stab it. <laughs> I'd love to see wait, it. Wait, hold up. Wait. Bonus action. Wait, is it the bonus action for your offhand? Yeah. God dang it. I want I wanted to try healing, but it's all Con save, come on, save. Yep. Ooh, oh, 20 hell will yeah. absolutely succeed. You don't even hell feel yeah. rigid, you're just feral right now trying to stab this damn stupid lizard. I know. For flavor, I'm just gonna look back at these side on guys and be like, is this supposed to be a challenge? As I'm bleeding That's what out. you want. <laughs> Are you I not keep... entertained? <laughs> As I keep my eyes closed, I start seeing weird stuff in Draconic. As I, I cast Disfear Whisper again. All right. I hey, speak I lion. I understand that because I'm holding a special coin. That's wisdom. I speak lion and that's it. I speak Draconic. I'm like, what the hell, dude? That's a 12. <laughs> it fails. And how... Yes, you, just, you piece of shit just die. How does Dissonant Whisper oh, kill it? In... He just sees it just like curled up as I keep insulting it more and more in Draconic. It, like, swings its head back and forth in distress as you see, like, little pops appear near its head. <sighs> and it curls up into a ball and dies. And suddenly, everything's calm. Final boss emerges. <laughs> My legs. And then the crack <laughs> appears from the lake somehow. Wait, exactly. yeah, you, what do you have? Like, uh, Tarla just <laughs> step on her chain so she can just lean on it and just play her loop. <laughs> we, uh, give me a moment. We have a bad so, habit. Andros, so, heal. So I, it's not the blood. It's not the bleeding. So Kraya was just standing there the whole time and didn't help. She was on the shore writing it down. She's not supposed to interfere because you know you're a sacrifice. She actively cannot bit. interfere. I uh, I want to carve the basculus eyes out. <laughs> you absolutely can. Roll me a survival check. Did the petrification thing wear off? Uh, yeah, I'll say you get, like, it's not the perfect cut, but you do get most of the eyes with that. Um, okay. the petrification is not wearing off. I need you to keep making con saves until you oh. succeed or... Can I, I was gonna say, can I get, give some... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, Hell yeah! Say, All right, you're fine. <laughs> I'm also fine. You would ask him for homework. <laughs> you minus two... I... You managed um, continuity, to man. Continuity. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It's there. It's there. <laughs> you managed to break off the stone from your bodies before it can take root and convert your skin to proper stone. It's like a small shell of stone that was around your feet and calves. But you feel much better. And if anyone looks at the shore, Gaius and the soldiers are seething right now. So, uh, how many basketball size did I get? <laughs> So, with the 13, I'll say you get one eye, because 
it you didn't do a great job of cutting it but you did manage to get that one eye solidly but the second eye was kind of squished in because you remember you stabbed that one in its eye socket there was no recovering gross. that one hey as long as i get one yeah gross i mean I you play the sword that we're making me oh, should we eat the basilisk no i, I mean would... i suppose you could like you'd I'm have to carve try. it up of course I'm just going to take a quick bite out of it and use a constitution throw. <laughs> well, you're not going to... Well, I guess it is a kind of... I mean, he's right. Poison? That would be constitution. Yeah. Roll your con I mean, save. I mean, I feel like that's less poison. We're trying to 22. down it. You managed to take a bite of this lizard, and, like, it's not good because there's a lot of scales that you're eating at the same time as the meat. Plus, it's not cooked, so you're basically eating raw, scaly meat. Not to mention it's poison. Don't forget about the poison. Well, the thing is, the stone effect comes from its eyes. Its saliva yeah, but... turns it back to normal. So, oh yeah, but it does have poison in its mouth, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's the poison that stops the stonification. Yeah. So, technically... But it that could be, be my saving con to like keep the thing off of my legs. So, so I save myself by eating it. <laughs> well, you already got the twenty-two to break free from the stone, so that was just you taking a giant bite out of basilisk and trying to stomach it. It is not good. You probably should have cooked it first and you know descaled it, but I mean, it's food. It's dangerous to go alone and take this. <laughs> so, while we wait here, I'm going to be doing this. Okay. As I play my loot. Okay, cool. so everyone gets to heal uh, whatever hit dice they want to spend, plus that extra d6. I'll need that, thank you. Oh, Ooh. Well, technically I don't need to heal, so... Yeah, you're fine. You don't have to do any hit dice. I don't have to either. I, I'm just doing this for now. Nice. What the heck is that? I'm hearing in the background. That's me. He's. They said they were playing with their loot, so... Ah, mm -hmm. it, okay. If it, 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 it this, it, this is a Pacific song I, I actually wanted for this part, it's... Uh... I see fire by a Sherry. All right, so you all rest up, and nothing seems to be happening. It seems that the basilisks were probably the primary threat in this area. And more time passes. You all get a full rest because you're supposed to be here until the dawn of the next day. Your long Keep rest. Drinks. Yep. Long rest. <clears throat> Hell yeah. Oh, and uh but not expecting basculus. <laughs> mm. So what do I need to roll to cook these things? So I guess it'd be survival. Plus you would need the only fire you have is the torch right now, unless you wanna That's what I plan on cooking on. Alright, it's I gonna be rough. Make, I, mean, I can make fire. I got a tender oh, box. Oh no, we got the torch. <laughs> Why not? Why waste it? Okay. Well, I'm not eating that. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> five. Nah, yeah, no, nah, it's not good. Like, it's hard to cook on a torch since it's a creature this big. You try to, like, poke it with the torch, and that's not really doing a good job. It's not an even cook. You didn't skin it at all to try and get rid of the scales. So, like, I mean, it's charred. It's definitely charred. A little Pittsburgh. A little rare on the inside. Charred yeah, on the outside. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it in my pocket for later. All right, you have add to your inventory Gross. charred basilisk bits. Nice. Be good on a salad. Can I harvest the second one? Yeah, you can absolutely do uh, survival to carve it up, see if you can get anything valuable. All right, just doing that. You have 18. a much better job carving this up. You descale it, you get the proper cuts of meat out of it. Uh, you, if you want to properly make it for a meal for everyone, you could try to use Thud's torch to cook it. Since it's a chunk or, of meat, or you could just save that meat if you want to do that. 
Or I could just, you know, cook it myself. It's true, you could. I'm literally a torch. So yeah, you managed to get a nice simmer on it. It's very properly seared. This is an actual edible cut of meat now. With that 18, can I... With one of my... Because I had an empty potion bottle. Can I use that to harvest some saliva? Oh yeah, you absolutely can. And if you... If you want, you can roll Arcana to see how... If you know exactly how to do this or not. Ten. Ten. You get the feeling Eight. that... Someone could, this could probably cure petrification, but you don't know if anything else needs to be added to it to make it a proper potion to cure petrification, or if you could just down the saliva or just apply the saliva as a salve to someone who's, you know, turning to stone or not, or has already turned to stone. Could you, couldn't you also put it onto your weapon and use it as a poison? Who knows? I do not have the intelligence to figure that it's out right true. now. <laughs> I guess it's theoretically possible to use it like a basic poison, but it has more benefits as, you know, a petrific depetrification salve or drink or however this works. Bro, I'll probably give that to a person who... Yeah, I'll need to ask someone. Look at giant ass lizards killing me with one freaking bite. Kai's just kind of like while cooking and harvesting these things, just kind of, like, swearing to herself. It's like this fucking lizard. Hey, you have the lizard, he had the board, and I had the sword. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I okay. have oh, oh. charred meat. <laughs> sure do. Did Andros, not Andros, uh, Art, Artavius and Thus turn next. Mm. Yeah, great. Can't wait to get mauled by something. Who will be your next great <laughs> rival? <laughs> but uh, you know, as the sun rises, well, did you know Hendrix was villain all Technically, along? for me, I had the mimic, so oh, that's true. Thud did get the mimic. So I just can't hit Alex's turn. Yeah, I just, I just go through periods where I can't hit anything. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it's... It was a I like dex... about stuff that we went down by, and I don't even know why my dexterity is fine. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, as the sun that's rises, funny. you all get your next level. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Yeah, level three. You're all level yeah. three. You get to pick your subclasses and everything. You already know what I'm choosing, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do oh we do the God. level thing? So, I'd like to say that uh, Andros, the whole time in the morning, was meditating. Mm. And uh, some of you see a uh, glow in his claws. Hell yeah. All right, but to answer your question, uh, Thud, if you look at the top of your sheet next to where it says your level, you should see a red icon. And mm -hmm. if you click that, I believe it'll launch the Character Mancer Plus level. And so I just click next? HP. Yeah, you just oh, click... Oh, no, it's levels. There we go. Yeah. Well, wait. Does it just one or, one or the other for rolling or picking average or uh yeah you can just you can roll um if you want to take the average i'll allow it but you have to decide which one you want to do before so you the roll. average or roll I'll, i will roll all right okay wait i'm says here very I healthy to... i'll take I the need, average i need a primal path do yes i need to do that yes that's your uh that's the subclass you're picking it'll give you all new abilities and stuff path of wild magic let's go Oh boy, oh that'll boy. be interesting. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not as bad as the wild magic sorcerer, though. Oh, okay. It's I mean, more you good could, stuff you than bad. Storm Herald. Storm Herald is actually really good. I play Storm Herald. The hell is a zealot? A zealot. Zealot. Zealot kind of makes it so you don't die. It's really okay. handy. And you can get descriptions of what those are. You pick a path and look on the right and scroll down it. It'll give you more information on each path when you pick it. Uh -oh. Also, I will be right back. One sec. Same. I need the washroom. All right. We'll take a quick, uh, quick mini break for a little bit while you guys get your levels sorted and do all this yeah. stuff. And while you're doing that, I'll uh, interchange chat for a little bit. How's everyone doing? Get some puns. Mm. 
I do have some puns. I didn't Always. know if those were from before or not. Okay, let me add no, some, some more puns. you got some new ones. <laughs> got some new Let's ones. See. You right here. When it came to getting even with my local bus company, I pulled out all the stops. <laughs> Terrible. And you, and you know, getting paid to sleep would be a dream job. <laughs> yeah not wrong yeah uh do i have some food for all of you hmm that's a good question okay. <laughs> that is a punishment that's a good one i'll give you punishment is a pretty decent pawn let's say a six out of ten for that one punishment is a solid pun Okay, so all of you are familiar with these, just to kind of give me, like, the basic rundown. Uh, what is the Herculean Path? So Herculean Path is the one new to this module that we're playing through. And it has a lot of fun stuff. Actually, um, if you look in the journal, I think I still have it available for you to look through what it gives. If you scroll down the journal, you should see Barbarian-Herculean Path, but I can give you a quick rundown of what it gives you at this level. A quick rundown would be better. So at this level, you're going to learn to take advantage of your innate strength to wrestle foes into submission. You're proficient in okay. the athletic skill, and you're capable of grappling and shoving creatures that are up to two sizes larger than you. Basically how grappling works now is you can grapple a medium or smaller creature, because you know, you're a medium creature. But with this, you're allowed to grapple large creatures or the size up from that one as well. And on your okay. turn, you can use a bonus action to attempt to grapple a creature instead of your full action. While you're grappling the creature with one hand, you can use your other hand to attack it with two-handed weapons if you were using both hands. Okay, well, what about uh, Path of Wild Magic? So, I'm not super familiar with Barbarians because I haven't played one. So I'd have to ask, uh, you'd have to ask one of the other players that are more familiar. But if I'm remembering correctly, I know it's similar to the Wild Magic Sorcerer to some degree. Which one are you talking about? The uh, Wild Magic Barbarian. That's Wild Magic. You have like a little like, I think it's a D8 that you roll. Each number will give a different effect when you enter your rage. And some effects you can just keep continuing, but certain effects will only trigger once. Some will just keep continuing on your turns using up the bonus action. Okay, what about- and Some of them have a lot of neat buffs. Okay. Like some but will what just about... be- <laughs> Go on. I was like, some of them will be like, oh, you, it gives you temporary health. You can just teleport. Things explode. You can shoot a laser. Nice. You also just get, you also just get like armor. Yeah, it just even... depends. Now that I realize What about I... Astral Guardian? Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. Astral Guardian, that's like the... It's pretty much the like the tanking class. Ah, uh, okay, never mind. Uh, what about Storm Herald? That's fun. Um, depending on what version you go for, uh, I went Lightning. You uh, make like an elemental aura around you and you deal uh, elemental damage to people in your aura. Ah. Yeah, it I can also with... give you other benefits like being able to breathe in water or swim speed I might take that one I also realized I didn't give you like a full rundown of Herculean so let me give you a bit more about it uh, later levels you can use strength instead of dex for using a ranged weapon well like <clears throat> a bow I believe longbow specifically and when you make ranged attacks with it or a thrown weapon while you're raging, you can add your rage damage bonus to damage rolls as well. You also get Thundering Shot, which when you make a range attack, you may choose to add the effect of the Thunder Wave spell to the projectile, centered on the location that the projectile hits. So the spell Thunder Wave does damage to an area of enemies. Actually, I think we've used Thunder Wave before, some of the people yeah. here. So you get that okay. as additional feature. Plus, at later points, at level 10, you get Herculean Rage, which your rage gets legendary qualities and more powerful the longer they endure. At the beginning of each of your turns, 
if you're already raging, your rage damage bonus increases by another one to a maximum of your strength modifier. In addition, while raging, you're immune to poison damage and you can't be frightened. And the final feature you get is Earthshaker. At 14th level, your colossal strength causes the ground itself to tremble and quake. On your turn, you can use your action to strike the ground and create the effects of an earthquake within 40 foot radius, centered on your location. The area around you becomes difficult terrain. Each creature on the ground in the affected area that's concentra uh, concentrating must make a con save with a DC of your proficiency and strength. On a failed save, their concentration is broken. At the end of your turn, each creature on the ground in the area needs to make a dex save. On a failed save, they're knocked prone. At the beginning of your subsequent turns, you can use your bonus action. Just keep doing this over and over again. Okay, I think I'm just going to go with the Storm Herald, though. All right, fair enough. I'm I just gonna figured roll. I'd give you more of a rundown. I love playing Storm Herald. Three. All right. So that'll add that automatically. Just take a quick look through what the uh, Storm Herald gives you, because I think it'll give you a quick look lowdown of all that. Where's Storm Herald? All right. You know, since we're still technically in everyone getting their stuff sorted, I just noticed we have another pun, so let me grab that really quick. What would Wonder yeah, Woman and Spider-Man name their business? Amazon Web Services. Aha. Ha. I laugh. <laughs> I Your reaction was better than the joke. <laughs> okay, skill proficiency, I'm going to go with nature. Okay. Um. I don't need basilisks up anymore. I also don't need that. Really printed that out weird. And since I'm going with the revised version, I don't have the limit of 30 feet. Ooh. So you'll probably just have to... I don't know if you're using Character Mancer or if you're just tweaking stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm tweaking stuff. Okay. So you're doing manual. Yep. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Tundra Aura. Interesting. That's a good one. Apply changes. I know that if water is near your aura, it freezes, I think. Hmm. I don't, 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 there's a thing here that I oh God. clicked accidentally. <laughs> what the shit is that? The fuck happened here? <laughs> I don't know. Can you roll damage Syntax on that? Error. Syntax error. Can I? Let's check it out. Roll damage. Let's see what how much damage you do with. I don't know if it'll even let him. Breaking the universe. No, it doesn't let me. Yeah, it's... Uh. Huh. I'm gonna look at your sheet and see if it... There's like an invisible there. attack thing there, and I was like, what the fuck is that? I'm not sure. Rage, unarmored, dark vision, blah, 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 savage attacks. Dark fumes, reckless attack, danger sense, primal knowledge, storm aura. Primal, primal knowledge. That is having a breakthrough and destroying the universe in the process. Uh, you emanate a stormy magical aura while you rage. The aura extends 10 feet from you in every direction. Not to recover your aura. People <laughs> with armor, beware. I have heat metal. Dear oh, God. shit. I don't have armor. I have body. Same. I, I can get that too. Well, I everybody can get it. <laughs> I mean, heat metal. But but uh. When this effect's activated, each creature. Oh, I target. I, I don't target the weapon. I tar target the armor. Either they're gonna 
fight with the armor on and continues to take the damage, or they're going to be taking it right off. Plate armor's going to be a hitch. I'm not sure what that weird blank attack is on it's your It's right above sling. I know, I see I'll do it. it. I'll, I'll roll it again. I'm probably just going to delete that because I don't think it's an actual thing. I don't I don't think so either, but I'm just, just going to remove it. I have no idea where that came from. You've, you've, you've erased my power of power. Uh, your your invisible attack will just have to go away. I'm sorry. My my arcane damage. Oh no. My Avada Kedavra. <laughs> That's interesting that your rages can now give people temporary hit points with uh, the Tundra thing. That's neat. Yeah, that's why I picked it because I read that and I was like, oh, I'm getting that. Wait, it what? Yeah. yeah so every time everyone. I rage, it gives you guys extra hit points. And you get rage. two temporary hit points for now, and as he levels, it gets to be more and more. If he got the desert one, he would just set everything on fire. <laughs> I know, <laughs> as I read that. But then I was like, hmm, I'm always grappling things, and these guys keep missing, so if I give him an extra two, there's a chance this guy might actually punch something. I will, I will appreciate the extra health points, but... Oh, that's interesting. And if you want, you can change your environmental choice when you gain a level. Huh. Choice. Oh, I thought you were, like, dedicated to a, a tundra place, but... Hmm. So it says... Yeah, it says right there, you can change your environment choice whenever you gain a level in the class. If your aura's yes. effect has a required saving throw, the DC is 8 plus your proficiency plus your con. But the Tundra doesn't have that. It instead does each creature of your choice within the aura gains two temporary hit points as icy spirits inure it to suffering. Temporary hit points increase when you reach certain levels. 3 at 5, 4 at 10, 5 at 15, and 6 at 20. And then... Uh, it's anyone within 10 feet of him when he's raging would get those two temporary hit points. It's not much, but it's free every turn. Yeah. We love free. We love a good free. How it all. I get my speed increased. But is everyone done with their levels or no? Pretty much. Can I, can I go to level four? No. And my <laughs> nice speed try, is now my speed is now 55 if I do nice. enough push-ups could I get to level 4 <laughs> hang on guys I'm just going to be here for the next few days as I train to get better if I do handstand push-ups will I cut that time in half <laughs> um, no no you, you can't get a level just for sheer determination I'm sorry but... not with that attitude but uh, I think we can move on a little bit here. Gaius and the other knights of the Order of Sidon begrudgingly free all of you and let you off of the rock. Because technically, the sacrifice has been met. <laughs> let me see if there's actual things to read here. Sorry, just talking about something. The amount of times our magician died, I'd see, say it's been met like twice over. <laughs> I mean, it didn't stick. So... I just got better. Yeah. You know, you just rub some dirt in it and you're better. Fine. The gods are like, um, no, take it back. <laughs> I don't want this. Am I not too good for you? I, I know what happened to the prophecy. I should have been good enough to die. Yeah. Uh, could you give us the knight? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at least you didn't give us the, the orc. He, he seems like a hassle. <laughs> if, as long as he doesn't... As long as he's not given to us with the desert perk, we're fine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but... <clears throat> So you eventually make your way back to the palace where the king is already deep in his cup celebrating your victory. He greets each of you with a bone crushing hug and a painful slap on the back. Warriors of the prophecy, you have my eternal gratitude. There was a time I would have taken to the fields of battle 
and the Centaur army single-handedly, but alas, I fear my fighting days are behind me. Perhaps it's time to officially retire my hammer. And he throws a hammer up in the air, flips it, grabs it, and uh, hands it to whoever's going to take it. I'll take it. All right, Thud, you get Pythor's Hammer. Nice. You'll have to attune to, but I will show anyone anyway. The um, lower part about weapons that you can craft is irrelevant to you because that's part of a different epic path, though I suppose you could make those weapons anyway. It's just not tied to your destiny. But the way the hammer works after you officially attune to it is any attacks made with this weapon have a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. Per de Once per day, you may instantly summon the hammer to your hand from any distance, and it teleports yes. directly into your grasp. The hammer's main purpose is to forge magical weapons and armor, but if used in such a fashion, the creation time is halved. That's irrelevant to you because you don't do crafting, but Vulcan can use it to craft stuff in the future and half those times. That's who I was going to give it to. Yep. But in the meanwhile, you can use it as a weapon to beat people's skulls in. It's a plus one weapons for all extents and purposes. And you can he summon it to it. you. He just gave this man Thor's hammer. Pretty much, yes. <laughs> I gave you Mjolnir. Congratulations. Minus the thunder stuff, but you can do icy stuff with it. So it's close. Honestly, the, the first thing that came to mind when I was given the hammer was I'm going to put this enemy in a box and put that box in another box and I mail that box to myself. <laughs> Anyone who gets that reference, I love you. Emperor's New Groove. Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, I got that one. I'm going to smash it with the hammer. Pythor goes on. You know, I use this hammer to smash entire enemies of Gigans and centaurs, and there's countless stories, but n none of which can really... I can't quite recall, because I'm a little, uh... You, you uh, see the wine sloshing again, because as I said, he's pretty Ooh. deep in his cup. I I'm a little, uh, you know. But, uh, <clears throat> my father, Vulcan, can use that to craft many mighty weapons. Oh, um... <laughs> Right, uh, your name's, uh, he's looking at you, Artavius. Uh, Artavius, right? Yes, yes. I believe you're looking for the, uh, treasure of the Dragon Lords, correct? That, that's correct, yes. So, if you're looking for the treasure of the Dragon Lords, uh, Esther Arklinder was the last to have him, have it. He went missing long ago, but if you can find the Ultros, the ship he captained, I'm sure you'll find what you need. The Ultra, so, okay. Now, Thank you. no worries. I believe it's time for a week of celebration. If you'd like to stay, of course, you're absolutely welcome as the guests of honor. We'll have banquets and wine and there'll be plays and at the end of it all, we'll have a chariot race. Uh, Kira speaks up. <clears throat> I, uh, I believe we should probably get started on those labors, of course, but, uh, that's just my two cents. It's totally up to you. You up for a week of partying, or uh, you want to just get on with uh, your labors you got to do? That's not to a go week. Let's go see the guy. I want to give him my hammer so that way he can build the like epic long spear sword thing. And then let's just keep going because I want to fight some. I want to ask Pythor something. Is something dawned to me. Okay. Keep in mind uh, he is pretty smashed right now, but uh, he'll try to answer as best he can. It it, it might work out in my favor if if this is done right. I was told that you defeated Esther. Uh, Esther? No, no, no. I I beat it. I beat his, uh, is it his grandson or his great, great grandson? It's kind of hard to, kind of hard to remember exactly where he fell in the line, of course, but it was, it wasn't Esther specifically, no. Uh, it's in my tongue, what was his name? It's one of my most important ones, but I'm just, what was his name? Lysis! Lysis was his name. Lysis Arklander. 
But you were around where when the dragon lures are around, correct? Well, yes and no. The gods came in near the end of the first war, you see. It was... Uh, I think the dragons had long vanished by then. You can incite him if you want. Oh, yeah. Like the drunk insight's not that good, please. Please, Lord. 18. Alright, let me see what his, uh... You know what? I'll give him... He's drunk, I'll give him disadvantage on this. Let's see, that was... I mean, he rolled very poorly to start. Okay, so yeah. He's not telling you everything. He's definitely hiding something. And with that 18, you're pretty sure he might be lying about coming out near the end of the war. But you're not sure when exactly the gods could have come in. Because even without a history check, you know from what you've gathered that the public believes, or rather from the farmer earlier, the public believes that... Actually, no, it'd be Aesop, wouldn't it? That the gods came at the end of the war. You don't know if they were here and maybe they were watching and they didn't quite intervene till the end. Or if they did come in at the end, but maybe they had been somewhere else. Or if they'd been here the whole time and actively participating, but no one seems to quite remember that information. There's a lot of possible theories that could be floating around in your head right now, but he's not telling you the truth. So... Do you know what happened to the dragons? Well, I can't quite recall. I know they vanished at the exact end, which is, you know, pretty rough, but I'm sure they had a good reason. I mean, I can't imagine why they'd just up and leave otherwise, you know? Kaya's gonna butt in. He he's exactly right. I mean... What possible reason would the dragons have to leave? This this isn't really quite important right now. I mean, I'm sure we'll find the answers to that later down the line. I mean, drunk man tells no lie, as my father will always say. Mm. Xander. <clears throat> yes, he was, a, he was a great warrior, let me tell you, from what I've heard. Yes, uh, he was a wonderful. I have read the stories, of course. Like uh, many people said, we were at the end of the war, so we didn't quite get to see him in action, but uh, heard he was a great warrior and a noble man. But in the stories you that was told to us earlier, you guys fought alongside the Dragon Lords when they lost their dragons. As she squints at Ky Kyra. Well, he was down by the time that we got into it, unfortunately. I'm gonna have her roll something. Might be persuasion, might be deception. Who fucking knows? <laughs> Am I in, like, hearing range of this conversation about dragons? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Like, everyone's just hanging out here right now until you decide you want to leave. Let's see, that was... That's that. First of all, I'm just playing with my new hammer until I can get to that the smith man. You can roll insight on Kaya if you'd like. I She's the that. goddess this of is music, so, uh, yeah. Three. Please be nice. Now 20, please. <laughs> Here, take this. <laughs> Damn. You're in investigation mode. It's like, huh, I wonder what's going on. Damn. So you can roll it. Yeah. Thank you. Would you believe Damn. she rolled a 22? Just oh, 20 damn. specifically, not 22. 20 as well. So you've beaten her. And she is also yes. lying to you. Now, again, you're not sure exactly what the situation is. <laughs> You don't know why they're lying to you. 
but it's clear that the two of them are keeping a secret from you. And Kaya jumped in to try and keep the truth from being revealed. That much you're definitely certain on. Well, just said, I just miss my... I just miss Serlene. I was hoping you guys know exactly where she's at as she slowly tilts her head. Unfortunately, uh, we never met Serlene. I think she vanished along with you before the war really got on, at least from what we heard from the stories. And you don't have to roll for this one. This is the truth. Because Serlene vanished alongside you, they would never have met her. If, indeed, they came at the end of the war. So either they never met her, or it just didn't become too relevant to them. Well, well that's all I have to say. I know I can keep secrets, you don't have to lie. I was from back then, too. Yeah, I want to keep those secrets low. And she slowly just starts walking away. Right. Anyway... What's what's the game plan now? Where, where are we uh, heading to next? Or are you gonna Smith. hang in town? Smith. Alright. Head on back to Astora. And actually, I should probably drag your token where it properly is. The Cthulhu. Quack Cthulhu. Nah, I switched it to the Ouroboros. You guys hey, were. Well, technically, you were at the palace least. at that point, so I'll leave it there. And uh, so. Is that everyone's plan to go with Thud to drop off the hammer to make, uh... Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, you come on in. Thud gets again. <laughs> and, uh, Vulcan notices you come in. Oh, hey, you're, you're back on time. Well, um, <clears throat> I did say the Dorado would take, like, a day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he, uh, pulls out the Dorado and hands it to, uh, Arctavius. He's all ready to oh. go for you. Excellent. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. No worries. I mean, it is in my best interest that you manage to, you know, fix everything and get your labors done, so it's the least I could do, you know? I mean, you still charge me for it, but I, I get it. I mean, I also have a business to run you. <laughs> it's a living. Mm. He shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Business. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you have anything else you need me to work on or is uh, that it anything I guess that's it for me um I think bud you take okay wait can you hear me I can hear you yeah uh, can everyone else hear <coughs> yeah I can hear him okay cause like um after it was like, what's his name got his grotto or whatever, everything just kind of cut out for me. Weird. Huh. But, uh, yeah, everything seems to be working now. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right, so, uh, you're going to try and uh, give Vulcan this hammer? Yeah, so I, I use my amazing... Um, uh, What's the word? Charisma? Bartering. Salesman. Your thuditude. <laughs> Is he, did he disconnect? Oh no. Did he disconnect? Can, can you hear me? Yes, there now we are. can oh. hear you. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, so, so again, I use my uh, my my amazing um, persuasion skills. 
Yeah, my persuasion. Uh, does this pique your interest? Would this be able to make the super long great sword ultra mega Sephiroth blade like easier to make? I mean, it would indeed make it go a little faster, but uh, you sure you don't want to keep it for the time being so you have something to uh, hit folks with? I mean, once I'm at the Mithril Forge, I can do a lot more, but I mean, it would certainly speed things along. Choice is, of course, yours if you want to leave it with me for all that time. I don't mind leaving it. All right. Well, that'll cut down the uh, 15 days down quite a bit, actually. So now it will only take... Let's... Hey, now pay us. It's, uh, take me eight Well, what's your weapon? Here you go. <laughs> Give it away. All right. So... You did pay him the uh, first bit, right? Like you put the down payment. Well, I mean, yeah, the pearl was stuff. worth a hundred, so. Right, that's right. It was the pearl. So you've already paid it in full. So he's gonna be working on the actual blade part of it, while uh, you go about your business. Like you said, it's gonna take eight days. So mark that down. Try to keep that in mind while you're traveling around. Which reminds me, I need to do other time clocky things in the background but don't worry about that that's not relevant to later that's a surprise secret for later oh boy oh boy i like surprises mouse mm -hmm. tool. but uh you know i think with that we'll end the session here the next oh, one you'll one. all oh wait do you have something else you wanted to yeah just one more thing okie doke when uh, we leave the store, Andrus is like, huh, I, I feel really great all of a sudden. It's like, nothing could ever drown. And then suddenly he starts to get the urge to sneeze. And his, when he goes to catch his, his nose, when he uh, actually does sneeze, he uh, fires off a bolt of radiant light at a cabbage stand. My cabbages! Oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh. What the? That's not normal. Has that ever happened to you before? No. Ah. That's very new. You could, you could sneeze light now? I, uh... I don't know. But I'm uh, willing to discover more about this. Kira's nice. writing feverishly in her notes. <laughs> huh. Sorry about the cabbages. <laughs> You're gonna pay? I mean, he gestures to his stand, which now has a hole in it. He kind of just cringes at that and uh okay let's go let's go so, uh, I, I don't have any money to pay for that let's go <laughs> oh i got it i got it let me let me go help all right you you go to fix the hole it's like all right that's that's good for the cart one more of a good measure he's <laughs> <laughs> shooting to hit his cart no i i'm not <laughs> fuck your cart <laughs> It won't do anything, but I'll try to. But one of the charred pizza of cabbage, I'm gonna try mending on it as well, even though it won't work. Yeah, it's not gonna do like anything. Craft might I tried to put the two cabbage pieces together, like, come on. Try druid craft or something. Look, you're gonna need to pay me for the cabbages. What? Like, this is a large amount work. of stock. Andro just picks uh, Kai up and runs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sorry, no, I can't pay for that. I'm very poor. I have money. Tara will look at Vulcan before she leaves that one, just act something and just walk towards do the cabbage. How much? Yo, instead of paying for the cabbages, you could have paid for my battle axe. <laughs> well, let me. Gotta Google how much a cabbage is worth in D&D. I'm pretty sure oh it's like one, two copper or something. <laughs> These are rare jaded green uh, royal cabbages. <laughs> These are the grand cabbages, Maybe I'll like have a... you know. 
<laughs> Maybe like a silver? Yeah, let's say, um... Let's see, we'll say you destroyed like five of them with your accidental sneeze. And that would be, if we're going... A radiant with... sneeze, yes. Yes. So let's say that'd be like three silver to compensate him for. You could just picture like... Three silver? Okay. Yeah. I, I give him three silver. All right. I can just actually could have paid him. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh... I can picture, I can picture yeah, just cabbages. picking up the cabbages, putting them in his pocket, and speaking with my charred soup. All right. I mean, hey, he's not going to stop you. You're paying for them, technically. They're a little bit seared from radiance. <laughs> mm. Sneezed radiance. That's... Just like Mama oh, Give it extra like... flavor. I apologize for my friends. Here's my company for your loss. <sighs> for your loss. <laughs> All right, I guess. Sorry for your loss and your cabbages. <laughs> I guess no harm done. You did repair my cart and you paid for the cabbages. Just be more careful next time. He's going to be a villain. I know it. My children's <laughs> milk. <buddy>. My loss. <laughs> Gonna keep sneezing at his cart. <laughs> Five warriors, one cabbage. You're gonna cabbage. get more abilities down the line. He's gonna be in a different town, uh, and you're going to destroy it. It'd be everything. like the second ability where I can fire a beam. <laughs> He's gonna obliterate his entire fucking guard. Man, I'm glad I get to put the cabbage guy from Avatar: The Last Bender, Airbender in here. And I was hoping you would. I, I was knew exactly. setting it up. I knew exactly where you were going. And after Tara like pays her, you just saw, sees her walk away, rubbing her temples over forehead. I'm surrounded by children. <laughs> yes. And just a surprise you could carry me under one arm. <laughs> I am very I got, heavy. I got some pretty good strength. <laughs> I'm carrying out the pounds on top of rug off yourself. On top of all the other shit I I normally weigh. Octavius once again looking to the skies, holding his holy symbol, saying, Muhammad, why? <laughs> Just why? All right. you, see the look, you see the look on Andros' face, and he looks the happiest he's ever been. <laughs> okay, Can that. someone pick up my spears? I think I dropped them. <laughs> Pixel just wondering if we're going to get... Forget the spears! <laughs> he's going to ask for money! <laughs> I need the spears. <laughs> we can get more. No, they're my spears. I need them. <laughs> I plundered fair and square. <laughs> we can it's plunder even code. more. We can get you a better one anyway. <laughs> part of the code. All right. With that, I think we'll end this here. In the next session, you guys will decide which labor you're going to properly pursue. Uh, I hope you know every time I get an ability, I'm going to test it out on that guy's cart. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> So he offered a week-long party, but did we get, like, a reward for saving, like, his daughter and stuff? You got the hammer. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> which is a magical <laughs> weapon that you gave away so Vulcan could, you know, craft faster, which is fair. Of course, of course, why not? You think right. we'll get it back when he's done with it? I mean, no. my plan was if he wanted to keep it, all I had to do is just, like, call for it, and then it would just come right back to my hand. I mean, you did attune to it. But uh, after a while, your attunement will break while he has it. Oh, really? Okay, whatever. It's he'll gone probably, forever. He'll probably give it back. If not, he's going to have to, like, really reduce the price of that battle axe. Yeah, I mean, if you want the hammer back, he'll probably give it to you. It's just that I, you I told mean, him to use it for the weapon, so he's going to use it. I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody else is going to get, like, attuned ma uh, magic weapons eventually, so... Yeah, that's fair. You just one. gave away the first one we had. <laughs> yep. That was... I mean, a it's, it's, it's worth it for, like, the <laughs> super blade, though. Uh, that was a legendary item. <laughs> could, you, could, you, could you imagine the reach on that thing? Just like... Thor's hammer? No thanks! <laughs> <laughs> man, what's this? Ah, oh, man, it's used... I don't want to use magic weapon. Ugh, take it away. I tried to throw it away, but it kept coming back. I just don't understand. <laughs> What's a warranty on this thing? A long sword, though. <laughs> right? Go you to the pawn sword shop. With reach? Because I think that Go. might be what we get. Go you, to the pawn shop. Have, you can have, huh, the how much can I sell once. for this? 
You can throw the hammer once and get it back once a day. With the freaking longsword, you got like you can wipe out an entire nation in one swing if you swing hard enough. You know, unless we're in a close. I don't think that's right. <laughs> <coughs> no, it's not. <laughs> If you run this campaign again, that ultra longsword has to be somewhere in the game. <laughs> oh, God. Fair it's the washing pole, dude. <laughs> okay, I'm so sure that guy's cabbages is fine. He doesn't have a family. <laughs> all I can picture is fucking Konosuba with the cabbages. Is all I can think of. All, right. like all I can picture is me anything. grappling something and then having the guy with the longsword be about 100 feet away and start jabbing at it. <laughs> oh, Jesus that man's poor cart when I <laughs> enabled to make key bombs. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so that was hey, hilarious. So I notice I have two puns, so I'll get those out of the way real quick. Oh, yeah. My girlfriend told me she was leaving me because I keep pretending to be a Transformer. I said, no, wait, I can change. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that I kind of snickered at that. <laughs> Uh, okay, here. Okay, nice. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll give it this, up. The CEO of Pepsi was just fired. She tested positive for Coke. Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I redeem so, my point for this. <laughs> so, that just like died of sheer death for no apparent reason. Goodbye! <laughs> He just suddenly dropped dead. No one he suddenly why. dropped dead. But uh, let let's go around the horn and sign off, and then we'll try and find someone to raid. Uh, Ronan, how you doing? You know, despite getting like it's one shot funny. twice, I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. Hopefully I now have enough health where I can survive two hits. <laughs> Hopefully. Hey, you still got my health bonus. It's true. You I'm also still get not there. I just hit 20. I yeah, I realize I have a whole lot of health. Jesus Christ. 27. There you go. 33. I'm a beefy boy. Thick lads. Thick. What I have. But uh, let's go to Hoshi. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I'm surprised when I go down, but I got a few new little tricks now because I went with the college's sword bard. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> that does. And so now I got my flourish of uh, my flourishes, and then I got two weapon fighting, so I don't have to deal with the. I got my modifier to my uh. Second attack. Offhand attack. Nice. Nice. And then I'm gonna do war crimes. <laughs> whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa. Heat metal. One you know, heat metal buddies. I just had a thought. If you used heat metal on the blade of your own sword, I mean it would damage you, but it would it also deal fire damage to someone you hit. Yes. Oh, I was gonna do this to somebody's armor. I mean, I imagine that's what you were going to use it for, but that was just something I was thinking out loud. Wait. It would indeed. We use it, we use it on the really fight. long sword. The sword of is course. too far away for it to hurt you. Hmm. Only on the hilt. Yeah. But, uh... Anatos, how are you doing? Hello, I'm Thanos. I play Andros, the Bane of Boris and Cabbage. <laughs> a new title Cabbage Bane <laughs> Didn't talk too much today because I was tired after work But after a while I finally got my groove back Um Uh I'll be playing a uh, Sun Soul Monk but revised So it's not going to be limited to uh, The Very bad subclass That Wizards made <laughs> <laughs> you know, with the 30 feet sunbolt, even though you could probably go way farther than that. Yeah, that never made much sense. Yeah, I, I just figured I'd let that uh, be known now in case we have any audience members that are like, oh, he can't do that. It's, it's, it's only 30 feet. <laughs> yeah. If that happens again in the future, or if it happens at all in the future, we'll just say homebrew and move on. Yeah. Yep. 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 
Well, you see, what? homebrew. Anyway, <laughs> but that is me. Do what we want. Right. Hey, Alec, what's going on over there in your neck of the woods? Oh, hey, it's me. Um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so Paladin. I'm doing the Oath of the Dragon Lord, uh, Paladin. So <laughs> specific to this module, I'll be checking that out. Get some. Uh, I literally just looked at what was it called? The uh, <laughs> shit Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark. That'd be fun. Some of that good stuff going on. Anyway, also streamer. I'm going to start streaming the new Dead Space remake tomorrow. So, hell yeah. Nice. Pixel, what are you doing? Hello, everybody. My name is Pixel. I'm also Chaos X, a vampire named X, Lady Chaos, Junk Food, the Red Panda, Koi, Beloved Mango Punch Trees, uh, HAL 9000, you know, etc. Um, my... Gaming channel finally hit affiliate. I'm also sponsored on that channel if you want to go check me out and help me out. Um, my main channel is currently on a hiatus right now due to the fact that, like, I got a lot of uh, health stuff going on IRL. Uh, my third channel, the Ladies of Chaos, is, like, doing fairly well for a channel that's unaffiliated. Um, so, yeah, go check that out. Um, all three channels do different things. Um, you know, just everything. I'll say that everything. I do everything. Um, <laughs> other than that, um, uh, I'm working on lore for my characters on my YouTube channel. I may need some voice actors for that. Um, and for my second channel, uh, currently just thinking of things to put on there. I'm currently asking a few of the uh, members of our group here for certain help, but I'll let you ponder what that is. Yeah. Okay. And of course, you've all found me here. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow at 10 p.m. East Standard Time. More Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories with Deluno 13. We're going to continue our way down through, well, up Castle Oblivion. <clears throat> um, of course, on <coughs> Monday, I'm also with Deluna doing my uh, randomizer soul lock with him in Pokemon Fire Red, which uh, we wiped and we started again. Mm -hmm. And now we're about to uh, get on up to Pewter City. Wednesdays, I'm streaming Ocarina Time 3D. All of these are at 10 p.m. East Standard Time, unless I state otherwise on my Twitch or my Twitter, rather. And then, uh, of course, Tuesday, Chill Personality on Burnout Vaughn's channel. Thursday, we're here! And next week, I have off both Thursday and Friday, so we'll be starting at our usual time, if it works for everyone, at 9.30 East Standard Time. Doesn't work for me. Uh, well, so much for that. Rip. We gotta start it. We gotta start it at 9.31. Ah, okay. You know, it's a tough call, but I think I can make it. 9.31, you said? Mm, mm, yeah, I think I can. It's a little late. It's a little late, honestly. Yeah. It's a little late. <laughs> But uh, with all that said and done, I'm going to find someone to raid. If no one else has any uh, options or suggestions, I think I'm going to raid, hey, Mr. Rabbit, one of my fellow players in Troll to Personality, the Tuesday game. I'm in the wrong place. Oh, really? Discord. Yep. He is Tyrant Bane on Troll to Personality. Huh. Well, yeah, I probably should have done my own nights. Love him as Alvin. <clears throat> and then... Pixel. You know who you should raid? Who should I raid? Draco Magnus. I love that guy. Mm, I don't know. Every time. Are you sure we want to raid him? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> kind of a jerk, really. I mean... See what you he ever heard of this Draco letters? guy? <laughs> kind of problematic. Yeah. Oh, damn. Oops. You know, doesn't allow me to, he doesn't <laughs> allow me to seduce his strength. Nah. You just didn't roll well at all. <laughs> I know. Rip. These muscles were meant for fighting, not love. No, I realized I could also do shout out for both of you. But, uh, I mean, we are nearing the end, so I'll just do... I am raiding someone, but why not? Why not, you know? Lost knights. I... That's gonna probably hold. I don't know if we're gonna get Alex in as well. If I hit that oh, now, yeah, I have to wait 35 seconds. 
Okay, so next time I'll uh, have to remember to do the shout out for both of you while we're doing the outros. Well, what you could do to wait the 30 seconds, you could also follow SO, our shout out, uh, Creatures of X Gaming. And shout out uh, the Ladies of Chaos. And then once you're done with that, then do the follow. <clears throat> Do I? I need to get your link so I can get those proper shoutouts in. I also need the, send me the links to both, and I'll properly put them in the description for the episode on YouTube. But anyway, for right now, let's get that raid started because I need to go to sleep. I have work tomorrow at six a.m. and it's almost one a.m. Twenty-four hour stream. Let's go. <laughs> oh no. What do we want to make the raid message this time? I have heroes, one lizard. <laughs> I have heroes, two lizards. <laughs> what, what we could do is, um... Fuck, I had one. We, we could just make it my cabbages. <laughs> yeah. My cabbages. <laughs> All right, my everyone. Cabbages. Shout my cabbages in Hey Mr. Rabbit stream. Ready? Ooh. Let's go! <laughs> Eventually. What, you think I'm a junius? We'll you think through. I know the answer to these? There it is. <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting.